start recording. Alright, uh, welcome to Shadowrun 5th Edition. This is our first time uh, playing this for me and Kanathis. Uh, I've played a bit of 4th Edition back in the day, but I don't think... Ken, you've never played any Shadowrun, have you? Other than the, the video games. Never. Alright, and uh, Hedra and DCL have played uh, in Anonymous Man's game, uh, which is, I believe, defunct now. Hedra's also played since, like, forever, but that, that that goes without saying with Hedra. Played all of the games. What the hell? Hi. Uh, just because you just passed puberty, <laughs> and everyone else is fucking older than you, so... Right. You're I'm trying to be here. I'm not older than Saban. In fact, I think I'm the same age. You're younger than I am. No. I am? Yeah. yeah. God damn yeah. it. Also, was that um, you, Kanathis, who wanted that? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, hop into uh, roll twenty, please, Hedra. Would, uh, would yeah, help. I have restarted the uh, Firefox there. Right. So, yeah. Pop Should in have now. control over that. Uh... Not open. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is that Kanathis playing a male character? What? Could yeah. it be? Holy shit, what what reverse world do we live in? What, what is this heresy? It's dark heresy. God, no. No. Not not quite that desperate for a game to play. Also, DCL picked no, up. No, we're not in Detroit. We're in Seattle. I cannot click tokens. Just, uh, like, draw an X over whichever one you want or whatever. Okay. What a surprise. See, that is... Is it, is it up low? Hmm? Right. Oi, Ransa, where the... Learn to fucking SD your rolls. What? I... Don't understand? SD on the rolls. You do 10 d tick like that. With oh, SD yeah, the SD, so the SD. Yeah. Which is a hell of a lot easier. Aha! Critical. You don't, you don't need to do the code. Uh, you can just do it in the dice roller. Yeah, just, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it, what does the SD, SD do? Hmm. The SD organizes it's a them. sort descending. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because if you look at Skess and then you look at Ransa. Yes, yes, I see, I see. Alright, well, once. Yeah, uh, please do use SD, that'll make it uh, easier to uh, count up glitches. AKA critical failures, but worse. Or actually, critical failures, but actually critically fail. Oh, glitches, that's like worse than fucking, uh, that's like triple nap once in a row. Yeah, well. I think there's glitches and then critical glitches or something, but... Yeah. yeah. Critical glitches is goodbye character. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you wanted to cast that spell? Uh, too bad, you just cast Fireball at your feet. Did you just uh, detonated the spell inside, you, inside yourself? Inside your very heart. <laughs> Alright, uh, how many body points does your heart have? <laughs> uh... Not enough. That's the answer. <laughs> oh, I think I have this backwards. Why do you have exclamation for explosive dice, Kinatis? I'm using compound the compounded shadow run style dice uh, in additional settings. To hit the target number of five. Uh Wait, that's why Shadow are Run eight first edition. And nine? Oh, is that wrong? Yeah, that's. Then I'm not yeah. gonna bother. Yeah. Um, so the code it is. Yeah, recent editions of Shadowrun don't have exploding dice on normal rolls. No. Ex you can only get exploding dice if you spend edge for the roll. Yeah. I'll be right back. Have to restart computer. Okay. Off to uh, off to awesome uh, technical starts. Well. <laughs> You're not one to talk about awesome starts there. <laughs> yeah. 
Actually, yeah, wouldn't that first roll of mine have been a glitch, too, since it's more ones than successes? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Seriously? I have no idea what I'm doing. It's Although okay, this... neither do I. Uh, luckily we have Hedrin DCL here who can talk us through the rules. Yes. Oh yeah, I accidentally... Uh, I accidentally fucked us over a bit uh, when I typed the rules lowering during thank you. Oh? Yeah, we're like, oh wait, isn't the rule supposed to be like this? Oh, you're absolutely right. So it does hit you with a fucking grenade. Oh, no. shit. Well, whoops. whoops. There goes those morning sketches. Yeah. Y you didn't need to improve your art anyway. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, uh, so yeah, if everyone is here, we'll uh, get started in the actual game. <laughs> Sort of missing the tracy bot, but who's counting? Never even told me he was gonna play, so I assume if he's not here by now, he's not going to be. Well, he made oh. uh, he made Jazz Hand 3.0 happy feet. Yeah, Jazzy. Come on, crazy. So, anyway, it's been a bad week and the gloomy Seattle weather isn't doing anything to raise your spirits. It's midnight on a weekend, late summer of the year 2075. People are out in droves, huddled under their umbrellas and cling to the flickering streetlights like moths. You, though, well, the shadows are your natural habitat. Out of the ever-present eye of Megacorps, Lone Star, and every other ganger out there would stand between you and Payday. Speaking of paydays, you're on your way to get yours. A week ago, you and your crew got tapped by a sweet little elf lady by the name of Molly Hall to do a little digging for her. By the way she carried herself, the way she talked, you figured her for some kind of corporate wage slave or maybe a political type. Makes sense, given that she had you digging up pay dirt on a woman by the name of Jova Moore, a dwarf running for mayor this winter. Fortunately for you, the job went bad, almost embarrassingly so. Your decker, a hood rat, went by the name of Tricky Mickey, got himself iced, literally. Apparently, this Jova had herself some grade A black ice, courtesy of the Mitsushama Corporation. Roasted his brain the second he pulled what promised to be some juicy secrets about Miss Jova and her sympathies towards the O'Malley Syndicate a.k.a. your garden variety local mafia. You split before her security could nab the rest of you, but poor Mick, though you managed to salvage some of the data from his rig. No raise a pint for the unlucky bastard when the job's done and you've gotten paid. Which, hopefully, will be in just a few minutes. You've reconvened at a Matrix Club, Purgatory, just a few minutes from Miss Hall's apartment. It's a little weird that she'd ask you to deliver the package to where she lived, but hey, it's good money and you're not likely to ask questions about that. 50,000 split, now three ways, a pretty tidy take. Maybe you'll even find it in your heart to send Mickey's girlfriend his share. But probably not. The sound of bass okay. thumps, thumps, thumps through the club as strobe lights glare off of the chromed shells of cyberized husks of people around you, half buried in hollow simulations. The club's popular, and today, weekend, Friday night, when all the wage slaves get off for what little free time they're ever liable to get, it's pretty much packed. But it's a good a meeting spot as any, and it's fairly close to Miss Hall's apartment, after all. In the well, not nicer side of town, but the less impoverished bit. You all meet at a table, pushed back in the far end of the club, perfectly shrouded by shadows, such as you find yourself drawn to. Why don't we go around the table, or Skype call as it is, 
and uh, see who we've got here. Heather, why don't you start us off? What are we looking at? We're looking at a quite grown out orc packing up some heavy, heavy duty armor. Not the standard grade, but more to take care of being able to shrug up bullets and then deliver with the same vengeance that she's been shot at. Daka the orc. Alright. And uh, what has the party picked up about Daka? What's, what do they know about her so far? You've, you've run with these guys a couple of times before. Maybe you've shared a little bit about yourself. No, it's just been strictly as much business as possible, minimal background information. All right, all right. The I closest can thing they got gotten out of her is she likes gardening. <laughs> strictly professional type. All right, all right. And how about the crew's doctor? What are we looking at here? Well, Doc which is what he insists that the name is, is a, a pretty tall and a thin man with a cl closely uh, shaved head with some, not completely shaved, but most of his hairs uh, kept really close to his head. Uh, doesn't talk too much. He just likes to uh, patch up his patch up his his, uh, his crew and make sure they survive for a doctor he's pretty good with a with a handgun as well all right have we uh, learned anything about you over the last couple of weeks working together other than that you don't talk much of course He does have a. He does like to save a um, portion of his money that he gets from your jo from your job in a for uh, saving for some for an uh, an undisclosed purpose. And he does have an allergy to to pumpkins for some reason. Not a common allergy. Uh. All right, all right. A pumpkin allergy. Yes. He does not like them. <laughs> right. Vile gourds. Vile gourds. And last but not least, our uh, adept Edge. Oh, yeah. Edge. Edge, or the Edge. Like, he likes to refer to himself, but nobody with any oh. self-respect will ever call him. <laughs> Is pretty much a sword combat junkie, and... Not really good at anything else. You've learned that he shouldn't be trusted to do any social talking whatsoever because he's kind of an idiot. But as long as it just involves combat, he's pretty reliable. He's pretty big anime nerd. Likes to play video games. Has yet still has no affinity with any real technology. So, I guess if you were to say whatever you've learned about him, personality-wise that he also takes care of a little sister on the side that is at least grown enough. To, she's a wage slave, and that's pretty much his only real connection he seems to have. Alright. Okay. Who, uh, who's his sister a wage slave to? Which, uh, which megacorp has her collared? He hasn't let that out. Alright. All right. You've all gathered at the back of the club. It's uh, taken a couple hours for you guys to actually meet here. You had to make a pretty hasty escape from Jova Moore's actual uh, estate outside the edge of town, but now that you're all back together, it's just a couple blocks to uh, Molly Hall's apartment. 
I so. lament that I could not save our decker. Or did he make it? Buy a few more rounds for our old decker friend who didn't make it here. This deal still stinks. By the way, who's taking this portion? What? Well, he ain't be using it, so splitting. Mm. If we're even gonna be seeing a single new unit out of it. Because mm. this smells a setup. Pretty pessimistic there. I mean, how is. Uh, oh, you're the one. <laughs> Is it pessimistic to sort of like smell the oozy, their oozing brain out of their ears, or is it pessimistic to think that those were way, way, way too high grade eyes for just somebody who runs for mayor to have? If I say yes, are you going to be any less pessimistic or paranoid? All I'm saying oh, is that. I could um, chuck you across the street if you want that instead. We'll to see how pessimistic that is. That wouldn't be pessimistic, that'd be fun. And all I'm saying is that we've already done the job, we're just waiting to be paid. It's easy. Yeah. That's the part I'm worried about. We're not I'm not think I'm thinking we're not gonna be seeing cash for this. Oh, we're probably gonna be walking into a goddamn ambush or her corpse. Don't Edge celebrate. is going to be Shaw and lean back into a seat. Don't celebrate until we have money in our pockets and we're gone. Yeah. So if you get if you get your get your doctors ready, the Edge them very, mm. yeah, is always them ready. Very, them very close to that because it's all going to go cracked up. Drake's gonna hit the fan. Well, if I have to deal with another fucking mage, I'm just. Big mage. Mage. Everybody rush. Not as much as dragon, though. Glass cannon. Alright, so. Everyone's a little bit on edge after poor uh, Mickey got roasted, but... Not without my permission. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone's a little tense, let's say. Thank you. After poor Mickey present. got roasted. Uh, but here's the, here's the question for you. Do any of you have a vehicle? Or are you walking... I know my ass doesn't have a car. Of course you don't. Your ass doesn't have a car. You're a poor ass fucking scrub rat. Well, if we're gonna be calling names. No. I can drive. No car. You can drive, don't have a car. Right. Well, don't call a cab. You know, this is not a sh exactly a shitty part of town, so... Oh yeah, especially at this hour, it's it's already midnight, you know, people are stumbling out drunk. There's a line of cabs outside the uh, the club. Easy to hail one if you want. So, I like, guess, get this track fest over with. What's the time? When are we? she supposed to be here? Uh, you're going to her. Uh, you have her address again you found it kind of weird that she'd have you uh, deliver anything to her actual home that's kind of that's outside protocol for shadow run operations but you also kind of got the feeling that this was kind of her first rodeo you know yeah the last two distinct possibility Come on, get in. Alright, alright. 
small. Right, yeah, you find a cab driver outside who's uh, pulls you guys on in, uh, starts the meter, and uh, you give him the address, and you're there uh, about ten minutes later. It's a bit of a tra bit, bit of a traffic jam. Uh, there's some cop cars zipping to and fro. Uh, a, somebody crashed a pretty nice car into another uh, some sort of chemical truck. It's a it's a big mess outside. But you zoom around that pretty Lone easily. Lone Star or Night Terran? Lone Star. This this part of town is uh, pretty much Lone Star territory. Yeah. So all the cops are have their nice little uh, white shirts and blue ballistic vests and their big Texas Ranger style badges on. So they're uh, dragging this completely zoned out looking uh, probably college kid out of the nice car. Amazing he's alive after that hit. You uh, you get to the apartment complex, and again, it's actually pretty nice. You wouldn't say high-end, but she lives in the nicer neighborhoods in downtown. Uh, there's actually a little gate outside the apartment, though. Uh, it's kind of hanging open at the moment. You figure eh, it probably doesn't close on its own. It's a pretty old building. The cabbie drops you off, and it'll uh, take ten new yen for the ride if anyone wants to foot that bill. I'll put it. All right. He uh, says thank you in his thick Pakistani accent and gives you a little receipt for it, and then drives off. Hmm. All right. Well, here we are. Could have ran here faster than the fucking cab, but no complaints. So, the apartment building is your fairly standard affair. It's much taller than it is wide, maybe 50 or 60 floors. Most of the windows are darkened now. It is after midnight, after all. Though there's nothing stopping you from just walking into the lobby, which, again, fairly nice. There's actually a, a doorman sleeping with his cap down over his eyes behind a desk. Uh, probably your standard rent-a-cop affair. And an elevator bank beyond a... Uh, a little sitting area that will take you on up to the 60th floor, pretty much the top of the building, which is uh, where you should be finding Molly's apartment. What do you say now, Doctor? Things still this suspicious? Is, this is too nice of an area to not have security, higher grade security. This is way too light. The, uh, the rent a cop snores loudly. Yeah, but there's this. Uh, I ain't trusting this shit. Man, you worry too much. Come on, Doc. You think everything's fine, right? Suspicious. God, fine. Everything's so suspicious. I'll walk in front so that way if anything happens, the real badass here is going to be ready to take care of it. No, the real badass is going to get a grenade in the back of his head if he doesn't duck. I hope it's not the time. Come on, duck, follow me. Said, duck when she says well. duck. You all cram into the elevator, which is... Kind of a small fit for Daka, what with her, you know, heavy weapons and all. Uh, but you being fucking two meters tall and they've been 135 kilos, so yeah, it's a, the elevator definitely gives the impression that it's probably a little older than <laughs> than the Awakening by the way it creaks closed and starts to travel up when you push the button. This awful Muzak cover of some old pop song starts playing. And up you go. The ride's long but uneventful. The elevator stops once on the pool floor and a very, very hammered looking uh, troll saunters up to the elevator door, sees it open, sees you guys and says, uh, I'll, uh, I'll catch the next one. You, you guys go, go on ahead. And up you go to this floor number 60. Elevator dings open onto a darkened hallway. The lights have been eh, 
you know, these old buildings, they kind of go on the fritz all the time. Especially with mages about, you know. So they flicker and flicker, but you can find your way easily enough to uh, room 6004, which is where you're supposed to go. Checking the cameras. Yeah, there's a little camera uh, up on the ceiling about three doors down that sort of buzzes quietly as it watches you. Security is not uncommon. Oh, yeah. No. Hmm. There, okay, if we find her door unlocked, we're leaving. Mm, fair enough. I'm just going to. What edge is going to walk forward? All right, you walk forward. This hallway super quiet. Nothing going on. Yeah, hallways very quiet. Uh, the uh, the camera is making a little buzzing noise as it tracks you on its little uh, motors, but otherwise you don't hear much of anything. A, a cat mews in the distance and. Vaguely down at the end of the hall, you can hear a faint thunk, 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 thunk. Okay, so this is kind of eerie, but I'm sure that you guys are still just being paranoid. Unconventional, that's all. Going to walk where we need to go. I'll be the one up in front. Alright, you get up t right up to her door, no problem. Mm. <laughs> when you, uh,. When you actually do get there, though, you see a little orange tabby cat leap out of the shadows, and it goes and scurries past. Hmm. Glad I'm not a superstitious person, otherwise I think something would be going wrong right now. Only if the cat is black and it crosses your path. I heard that. Racist. Anyways, walk forward and go through the door. Alright, the door is locked, as you would expect someone's apartment door to be. Edge will turn around to Daka and go see, and make like a gesture going see. And then I guess I'll just knock on the door. Alright. You hear a sweet uh, female voice a moment later saying, Oh, uh, be, be there in a moment. You hear some rustling inside. You guys were worried we were going to get jumped. Yeah. You're readying up the grenade. Readying up my weapon in case. Alright. Uh, so, Edge. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to, uh, I'd like you to do something for me here. Uh, why don't you make a intuition check? Just raw attribute. Okay. D. Okay, yeah, yeah. You might want to uh, change your name there, Kanathus. Oh, hey, I think that's it. Alright. I can't, oh, wait. I'm there. Uh, so, Edge, uh, you hear uh, some rustling from the apartment. Uh, you hear a door opening. And then after a moment, you hear a and what sounds like uh, maybe something glass breaking inside. Edge will kind of tense up and have his hand over his own blade. Look back to his party, tell him um, to give them a silent cue that something's up. I kick the door in full force. All right, the door slams oh. off of its hinges clattering into a fairly nice apartment if it weren't for the broken window and the uh, body lying on the floor in a pool of blood. Holly Hall, a fairly attractive blonde elf, is lying motionless on the ground with a small, maybe three or four millimeter wide hole in her forehead and a very shocked expression on her face. Shit. Uh quickly look through the window and try to see what's going on. Alright. You get up to the window and see a figure on the rooftop across the way stand up, pulling what looks like a heavy-duty rifle off of a bipod 
and he ducks down uh, behind the railing, probably heading off towards the elevator. Doesn't look like he saw you. Ah, oh, shit, there's somebody over there. Uh, I told ya. Move, move. Moves out the way. He's moving across the railing, you said? Yeah, of the uh, building across the way. Building. Switching out weaponry. Sniper rifle, in initialized magnification. Pinpoint right. targeting, smart link. So you, like, drop to a knee at the windowsill and try to get a beat on him? Dude, I don't need to. I can one-shot this. With the one, I'm strong enough to hold it one at it. <laughs> alright, alright. Cool. Uh, so make me, a, uh, make me a shooting check. Let's see if you can nail this guy. Sure thing. Going to see what his dodge is. Actually, that was a good point. I could have possibly tried to run and catch this guy. Well, you can sprint while I'm doing this, but let's see if I can hit. The best fucking roll in history, but five yeah. successes. Alright, you came very close to a glitch there, but... Yeah, alright. Let me uh, let me see. What does this guy need to roll to dodge that? Because I know it's an active. It's reaction thing. plus intuition. Reaction if he plus does, intuition. Only if he's uh, only if he's aware of it. Oh yeah, that's true. So and uh, he was not expecting to get shot in the back. All right. Uh, yeah. Your uh, your bullet hits home just as he's getting down below the railing. You see it tear into his shoulder. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. That was. Oh well, I think uh, that I, uh, if it hit, there's damage. Uh, the damage is actually I'm firing a PDS shot through a sniper rifle, so. Yeah, and, and the net hits to the success get added to the damage, right? Or is that only for melee weapons? Yep. Yeah. No, that's for uh, all the types. Yep. So, uh, let's see. And so what's the armor penetration on this rifle? Uh, it's uh, minus 5. Okay. So if he has armor 12, that would be a... What? 7? Seven? 7. Okay. Is so I... Uh, by seven? Yeah, but uh, the damage... Uh, uh, my damage over is uh, 12. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be doing lethal damage. Yeah. Yeah, it's so. straight to lethal damage there. You right. have the link I sent you, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Seth, so yeah, you hear this uh, yelp of pain across, and then you know, lights uh, start coming on. You hear dogs and cats uh, going wild outside. Uh, but the yeah, guy is now out of view. Single... Don't worry. Don't worry, it's a silenced one. I ain't that stupid. Well, silenced and suppressed, you know, eh, two different things. Uh, it, it makes enough noise that, yeah, like some, some animals outside are like, whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, alright. If, if it's silenced, then you won't be like waking up the neighbors or anything. They just hear this little. Thing. Huh? Edge will turn to Daka and go, Have I ever mentioned how I hate it when you're right? And if he can, he's going to start trying to gymnastics slash parkour his way over there to see what's up with the guy. All right. Uh, the next building over is across the street, so it's a good, like, 20-foot jump. I don't... Is that, like, possible to make? 20-foot? Yeah. No, I mean possible to make within the rules of, like... Because here, let me... I have to find a PDF real quick. Only if you got the elevation. No, I don't. So let's not make any rash decisions. So come on, come on, come on here. I just blew out his shoulder, so he's getting slowed down severely from yeah. the clock. Go. Yeah, we're chasing. Run. Making run check to try... Wait, can you make a run check outside of combat? Yeah, uh, running. Yeah, you can. Uh, right. Are you guys going to try and go to the elevator or, like, out the fire escape or what? Park here out the fire escape. Alright, cool. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. 
Let so, me let me let me handle Doc here real quick while you guys are leaping uh, into action. Uh, Doc, uh, you see that the elf is again. She's stone cold dead, lying in a pool of her own blood. Uh, she was wearing a very nice red dress, and she's carrying something in her hand. Uh, but uh, she is lifeless at the moment. Uh, there's not much more to say other than that. What's she got in her hand? Right, Rigor mortis wouldn't have set in yet. Oh no, no, it's it's easy to uh, pull her fingers off of what looks like a, um, a credit stick. Pocket. Right, you pocket the credit stick. Uh, a quick glance tells you that it's a uh, it's a pretty nice high end model. It's probably encrypted, though. If you have the time and patience, you can probably get someone you know with the expertise to crack it. Again, it's a shame Mickey isn't here. Poor Mickey. Poor Mickey. Uh, you also see that she has a uh, a little com pad uh, on her waist, like clipped to the fabric of her dress. Take. All right, you take it. And it starts playing a message as soon as you pick it up. But we'll get to that in a moment. Daka Edge. You guys mm. leap onto the fire escape. And from there you can see you know, your standard sort of wrought iron uh, affixment to the side of the building. It goes down and down and down all the way. Uh, each uh, floor has basically a folding staircase that weight will push down so you can get lower. And the the opposite building also has a set of fire escapes, so if you're out here, you're jumping to there, you're narrowing it to maybe a, a 15, uh, maybe even a 12 foot jump between buildings. It's just over the alley. So it's much more doable from here. With how deep a fall? 64s. Yeah, no. Don't fuck up. Okay, so I was just reading the rules. <laughs> like, you can make a jump that's like at most one time one point five times your agility. And meters. Well and meters is basically a yard, so yeah. Dude, there's three feet per meter. Okay, okay, never mind. Uh so fifteen so. is five meters. Yeah. That is the, the case. world record in uh, the world record for uh, fucking uh, long jump is almost nine meters. We're in the future with cyborgs and awesome adept yeah. powers. Now, now, cyborgs aren't allowed to compete in the Olympics. That's cheating. They have oh. their special Olympics. It's not cheating if so everyone's it? allowed to have cybernetics. Uh, did you, what did you say? Was it like one and a half times your agility? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's one and a half times your agility. That's your maximum you can make even if you do get the hits for it. One and a half times your agility. You have eight agility? Yeah. So my max so is 16. 12 meter, which is fucking 66 feet. Say, so you, you could make that jump. Uh, also, what page in the rules did you find that on? Um, uh, jumping, 134. Yeah. 134. Fuck yeah, hair left. Alright, here we go. For every hit on the test, you jump one meter. Uh, so, I'm assuming you're basically like parkour leaping out of the window and then from the, uh, from the fire escape onto the other one. So you have a running start on this. So mm -hmm. two meters yep. per hit. Yep. So you need to roll, what, at most, uh, uh four or five? Yeah, you could do it. Can do it. That's a pretty steep for only a 14. It'd be a risk for sure. Oh, yeah, it's a risk. We could spend edge point, remember? Yeah, I want edge to make this jump. Explosive. You don't. You don't want to fall. I really don't want it to fall. Yeah, I'll I'll use a point of edge to make the dice explosive. All right, sounds good. Go ahead and roll. Fifteen d six. Exclamation points and SD. Oh. So. Ooh. All right, you make Wait. it just barely. Oh. Wow, yeah, and you needed those explosive dice, too. Holy I really shit. did. <laughs> Yo, you fucked that up. It's not... 
it's one only. After a skin. Oh. Because there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dice. So you have fourteen D six, correct? Yeah. You do yeah. like that. Okay. So that was six successes. Still succeed either way, so. Yeah. You leap across. You and do some fucking matrix jump over here. Oh yeah. And there's a moment where time stands still as your legs and arms flail through the air, and you slam <laughs> into the brick wall on the other building. Though you are still a couple floors down below this guy, so. Start climbing. Gymnastics check. All right, sounds good. Actually, just be the same roll without the exclamation points. Five successes. Cool. All right, you start leaping the fuck up. Uh, Dak, are you also going to try and uh, gymnastic your way up, or are you just going to hoof it? Uh, do we have a pipe nearby? A pipe? Yeah, usually you cast, since everything you cast and brought fire. Yeah, 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 there's, uh, yes. there's utility pipes going up and down the sides of the building, sure. Excellent, let's go sliding then. Sliding up? Down. Okay. Which wants to cut off his escape. Okay, yeah, sounds, sounds good. So you don't really need to make a roll. Um, gravity takes care of uh, pretty much everything there. But uh, let's see. Blah. Too many, too many windows open. All right, Edge, you quickly get up on top of the building mm -hmm. and see that there is a good bit of blood splattered all over the roof uh, from where Daka's bullet tore into this guy. Uh, there's some bits of cloth and fabric, and uh, your keen adventurer's eyes catch that there's uh, there's a bullet casing that's rolled off onto the concrete. He's, he's a professional, you figure. He'd, he would have picked that up if he had the time, but since he kind of got shot, uh, no dice for him. Edge will sc um, scoff filthy casual under his breath before chasing after the guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there is a stairwell and an elevator leading down from the roof. It's this big sort of uh, block building on the edge next to a uh, a cage full of pigeons. Who all... at you. Mm. Uh, so which do you want to take down, the elevator or the stairs? Does, your, does it already look like you used the elevator? Uh, yes. Uh, the elevator is ticking down. Oh, shit. Get the casing real quick and then sprint down with my eight agility. All right. You start sprinting down. Uh, about that time, Daka thunks onto the uh, onto the wet concrete below. An alley dog whoosh at you. But uh, you quickly get out of there and I guess onto the main street since that's probably where this guy's going to come out. Or do you want to try and find like a back door? Well, let's see. Thanks to my cybernetic eyes, with all the good shit in them, I'm able to pick out where everything is, even in the the time of day. Uh, imaging, smarting, thermographic, vision has and low light, all the good stuff. Okay, so you know where shit is, but do you want to go to the back yeah, door or the front door? <laughs> thermographic mission. Heat signatures. See yeah. what the hell somebody's stumping about. Uh, this is also an apartment building. There are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of people in there. Uh, your, like all of your heat visions are like it, it's. There's too many people between you and him. Shit. Get across the street to there, where, where I need to be. Alright, so you're going across the street? Well, I'm a, 
I'm literally across the street from the building he was he was going down from. No, you're in the alleyway, right. like between it and the building you were in right now. Oh, a quick scan for any exits. Uh, yeah, there is a there's a back door, uh, probably like a service exit where they dump trash out of the kitchen and stuff, and then there's the big main front door, and like a fire exit on the second floor that uh, from like the pool area that leads down. Okay, so, uh, quickly move towards the 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 service area. Snap on the call link. Edge, give me info. Where are you at? Uh, running down the stairs right now, trying to catch this asshole. He's taking the elevator. Think going front or back? Can't really get that far with that uh, blow, blown out shoulder of his. Hell shit. Uh, does it look like he... I can't even tell what's inside the building, can I, save him? Like if he's going through the front or the back yet. You don't... You don't even know if he's down on the front floor or anything yet. Like, there's, there's an, an elevator shaft. I mean, is like the elevator still have like lights going down? You're running down the stairs. Yeah, I know. So, so it, it's the stairs aren't close to the elevator. No, like you'd have to stop and get out of the stairs and then go down the hall a couple feet and then check, which you can do if you want to, but it'll slow you down a bit. Yeah, no, I'm just going to assume that he's going to be headed down to the first floor. Mm -hmm. And Makes sense. uh. Yeah, all right. So you you just keep running, uh, Doc. Why don't you give me a first aid roll to uh, try and get that bullet out uh, intact? Unless there's like a specialized surgery skill you have or autopsy. That falls under just medical. Okay. So yeah, make one of those checks. Much not as good as first aid. Okay, yeah. Nice. So many dice. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, you should see my first aid skill. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, yeah, so you uh, you quickly and precisely put a pair of little like tweezers in there and yank out uh, a f very small uh, hollow point bullet. It's uh, kind of mushroomed out, and as you do. Uh, it's hollow? just your standard run-of-the-mill, like, Probably five or six millimeter round. Uh, if you know, if your character knows anything about uh, actual guns and bullets on the inside, you can make a check related to that, or you can save that for like docket to try and identify the specific type of round. That's why I'm taking it so Daka can Daka can look at it later. Coolio. Oh yeah. Right. I want to make sure to mention to Daka look out for um, the windows, see if there's any vehicle waiting at him on the upper floors. Because right. otherwise, I'll have to go through the front. A vehicle on the windows. I don't know. This guy could be like trying to James Bond out the window. Uh, there's I'm also uh, the fact that a lot of buildings, uh, apartments especially, have like either are next to car parks or like have them underground. So it is possible he might like have a car stashed nearby. See, so, yeah, I'm still headed down. All right. However long it takes me to get to the first floor, hopefully not too long. I'll check to see if the elevator is still in use then. All right. Uh, so Edge, why don't you make me a uh, make me a body check because you are running sixty floors of stairs. It's. Uh, I should with my stats. I should be fine with that. Should be, but you know. Cruising, running. Let me see. Body time. You can run nonstop for a maximum number of minutes equal to your body plus running times 10. So my body t plus running is 15, so I can... No, wait, what? I can run for 150 minutes straight, what? J just make a body yeah. check. Let's see how how winded or not you are. Okay. Probably be fine. It's only like a 5d10. I mean, 5d6. Yeah, I just need like one success. Oh, That's hello fun. there, Crazy Bob. Hey, hey Crazy Bob. Hello. And that's what? No, just body. Uh, you need one success. Okay. You get it. 
All right, so yeah, you're uh, you're fine. You you are a very athletic uh, adept, so it's no problem for you to just leap down sixty flights of stairs like it's nothing. So you arrive on the first floor, uh, Daka. So are you uh, out in the back door? You said. Yeah, I'm checking. I'm checking the back door on the around the corner there. All right. So you you've still got like your sniper line. rifle out, I assume, or have you switched to, like a pistol or shotgun or something? I got both of them out, so everything is ready to just switch out, so. Alright. Uh, so the back door opens, and a skinny little nerd with uh, big glasses, freckles, and unkempt red hair comes out the back with a big uh, bag of trash in his hands and just about pisses himself when he sees this heavily armed orc standing there with guns pointed at him. Ah! Uh, no, no, he drops his shit and runs shit. back inside. Oh, tell him to sit. Alright. Uh, yeah, he, he's not going to resist that. He just drops his shit and just sits down. No, 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 don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Shush. He, uh, almost by instinct, he, like, pulls out his little credit shit and just, like, offers it to you. Well, I keep your wage. I'm looking for something way more dangerous than you. He should be coming around soon. Unless you saw some some fucker in there with a uh, with a grape sack hold in his shoulder. Uh, yeah, yeah. There, there was a a, a guy. Who, he, he had a big towel like on his shoulder. He just just ran into the car park. And Where? he flails and a hand like inside through the. Uh, through the kitchen in the back here to a uh, a big heavy door. It's just 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 that way at the end of the hall. Thank you. Take care. All right, calm link edge car park now. Shit. All right, get on my way. I will make a sprint check to try to make up for lost time. Now, does this guy have like a any trail of blood whatsoever to follow, or is that clean? Uh, now that you guys are on the are on and inside the first floor, yeah, you you quickly find a trail of blood leading out from the elevator uh, towards this big metal door. Follow and, the uh, blood. Yeah, so you and Daka get there at about the same time, really. That you were running down all the stairs, and she just kind of slid. And so you burst in through this door. Uh, just in time to see a big black van uh, screeching towards the door. Uh, with the its back doors are still open, and you can see a uh, very distressed-looking Hispanic man uh, laying in the back, clutching his shoulders and yelling at a uh, a scrawny right chick in the oh, back of the no. van. Has Grenades! A, yeah. Oh boy. So she's, she's grenading. I'm sprinting towards it. Okay. Uh, so uh, I assumed you were just gonna pull out the rifle and blow out the tires. No. Uh, well, I have to do multiple shots for that. But the grenade underneath is more than enough to take it all out. All right. Uh, Daka, give me a shooting check. I'm gonna have that be opposed uh, instead of the normal dodge with this uh, with the drivers. I guess. Uh, Vehicle piloting skill, which is probably not that great. Don't worry. Let's see. Pilot ground. I assume that's a journey. Reaction, probably. Shit. Yeah, this is pretty decent. All right, you you hit uh, with yeah, you hit with uh, one spare going to damage. So go ahead and roll that as your uh, was it like thirty millimeter grenade just detonates underneath the car. Yeah, that's sixteen p in an eight meter radius. So all the tires go bye bye. Yep, yeah, there's a good chance. So does the van. <laughs> oh no! Don't worry. Uh, Edge, why don't you make me that uh, that sprinting check? Uh, you probably want to get less than five successes here. 
Yeah, I would. I would assume that I'm going to not. You don't want to go too fast. And go in after the bomb goes off, the grenade. Okay, so you're like going to hold yourself back until after Daka uh, does her Daka. Yeah. All right. Because I can, right. I can sprint pretty fucking far. No, it's single turn. Yeah. <laughs> What's your uh, what's your damage there, uh, Daka? Well, since it's one success over, that's seventeen uh, p with uh, minus two uh, AP. And since it has uh, uh, what's the it's a vehicle, so it get damage resistance as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the van, uh, all the tires are completely shredded, as you might expect. Uh, the van lifts up off the ground and just tumbles end over end and slams into a pillar at the uh, at the end of the uh, car park right near the exit. Uh, so I'm gonna make some body checks for these nerds. See if they just oh yeah, die. they're gonna. Let's oh see no, they don't they die. They're gonna be bounced around like motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, they can always glitch and die. <laughs> Trust oh, me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you There's glitch a body check? I don't think that's something. You can fucking glitch anything, dude. Yeah. Damn, that's scary. Yeah. Let's see. Dude, how the fuck do you think uh, you can glitch and you can critical success? How do you think that fucking glass initially survived my goddamn explosive? Remember the building? I yeah. shot the glass. Like, oh, you just dusted the street, the top of it. Right, yep, this this, uh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, there, yep. See, there's the glitch. Well, one smoked. Yeah. Uh, so Edge, you leap in there. Uh, actually, Edge, ro roll me one d three. Probably one d three. Probably should have seen which of those was which. There's a. Uh, the driver. There's the scrawny chick, and then there's the uh, the marksman back there. Two. Okay, cool. Uh, so you leap into uh, the wreckage of the car. Uh, so that scrawny chick you saw in the back of the van, she, she's kaput. Her neck is just twisted into this unnatural angle. But the, uh, the marksman is unconscious and the driver is just groaning. Ugh, ugh, my head. Gonna go up to the driver, non-lethally punch him out. Alright, yeah. He, he's so fucked up at this point, he, he can't really resist. Uh, Can so he drops. Alright. Uh, so yeah. Uh, you have a, a Hispanic guy with a big, long cloak. He's got some pretty serious eye cyberware, but uh, not much other than that. He's got a rifle, which has just oh. been shattered. Uh, the barrel's twisted, basically, uh, from the impact, but... Uh, He's got some like armored vests on and big duster, and then a uh, a redheaded guy uh, with uh, some s pretty pretty serious tattoos as the driver. And uh, you find uh, pretty quickly he's got an auto pistol tucked into his uh, into his belt and a knife on his boot, which you uh, relieve him of. Yeah. But, uh, come on, let's drag these guys Duck. over. And, huh. Duck. We got uh, two out of three. One got fracked. Don't worry. Get a shooter and uh, get away. -er. We're gonna need your magic touch for this bastard. So, uh, Doc, you're uh, you're upstairs, still in the apartment. You've just finished fishing a bullet out of uh, Molly Hall's head. Uh, so you've got, like, your gloves on, and there's blood staining your fingers. And it, it's just it's just been a bad time, uh, digging around in her brain pan. And you hear a knock at the door. What door? Uh, the door to the apartment. The door that she kicked in? Good point. In that case, you hear a knock on the uh, the side of the door, and a voice saying, "Uh, excuse me, sir, sir." And uh, Doc, you turn around, and there's a couple of Lone Star guys standing in the door frame. What do? Can 
Ken. I will be a little annoyed if Nathan wasn't here. Oh. <laughs> Wrong okay. muting type. Always and forever. <laughs> Always and forever. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, there's a couple of Lone Star cops who are standing in the doorway. Uh, they, they haven't seen the body yet because, you know, you're a, a strong and broad-shouldered enough guy that's just leaning over, so they, they can't see it, but they can see... They see this door has just been bashed in and you're just hunched over there. So, so they've both got their, their hands on their gun belts. You know, they've clicked off the tops of their holsters and they've got their, uh, their weapons holstered but ready. And they're eyeing you. Hmm. Let's see, let's see what to do, what to do. Sir, are you okay? The neighbors said, and they, they just sort of let themselves in at this point. They start walking towards you. You've got about two or three seconds before they uh, they see the body. Let's see. Window? Or talky. It's low star. I don't know anything about that. Alright, yeah, as a Shadowrunner, you would know that Lone Star is basically uh, the rent-a-cops of the city. Uh, they okay. provide basic security. They're, they're not gentle, and they're not held to the same standards as even modern-day law enforcement, so... Mm. Uh, it's a bad time if they suspect you've done something wrong, but uh, you know, they're, most of them are on the level enough. Uh, you know, enough. Your average person trusts them with his life. Huh. They, they take they're a dim Shadow view of Shadowrunners, Shadow though. Yeah, yeah Shadowrunners were recent. So, what you're saying is I should probably run. You should probably yeah. run. Yeah. There's an escape. There's not there. No, just there's. All right. So you're you're sitting there undecisive for a moment, and they uh, they get close enough, and they they see this like pool of blood seeping to the carpet, and both of them draw down immediately. What do? And I can speed up. I I. Okay. Sorry. Um. They have a gun to your head. You have a second to move or die. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Gonna go. Alright. Getting out. So, you <laughs> <Running out. laughs> the goddamn Batman spawned out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, you throw your shit down and leap out the window. Uh, I don't throw my shit down. Alright. Bring the shit. I put All my right. stuff in my. I put my stuff away. You you were literally pulling a bullet out of her brain, so... Alright, like, you, you you shove your bloody, like, gloves into no, your I, belt. I, I, I put it in chat, like, this, like way up there. I, oh, says, so you did. Okay, so, yeah, you, you're fine, then. So you've got your stuff tucked away, and you were just uh, just kind of looking around. Uh, so, yeah, uh, they, they're both going to take a shot at you. They're like, oh, shit! What the fuck is this? Uh, so make me. Armor. I do have knight. I do have armor. And dodge, and uh, they are going to. Uh, yeah, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, good reactions. Police patrol. There we go. What? What is there? Shooting pistols. I don't just want to shoot them. That would be bad. Now you want to run. Hmm. Generally, don't want to mess with night, um, any of the corporations unless you have a damn good reason. And even then. Yeah, but Night there and the Lone Star are not corporations. No, they're not. They're not mm. corps. They're law enforcement. Oh. I thought they were. Night there and his mill stick. Right. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, what's a Lone shooting roll? That's uh, agility plus, plus pistol, pistol skills. Alright. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let's see. Luckily, these guys aren't terrible, but they're not great either. Depends on what the weapon has. It usually has a smartling system. Uh, I mean, these guys are just beat cops. They, they're probably not issued smart guns. That's expensive. 
All right. So they both get two successes. Uh, Kenneth, okay, so how does this work? Uh, reaction plus intuition. Uh, so oh, you mean my ranged defense? Yeah, that's your ranged defense. Yes. Right? Okay, so I have to roll against their thing? Yeah, you yes. want to get more successes than they got. Okay. If this was used um, during combat turn, you could have full defensed for a little bit of bonus, but you can't do that now. Alright. Because there's no initiative. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, they they just hammer the wall and the window around you with uh, n like nine millimeter rounds, and you leap okay. out through what little remains of the window itself, can tumble I... onto the uh, okay. yeah probably. fire uh, um, escape. Can, can I uh, toss a tear toss tear, some tear gas into the apartment, and then just uh, pull a deck and slide down the pipe? <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. Think that I uh, think that'll work. That's your uh, two actions. Yeah. Go ahead and f chuck your grenade inside. No real need to roll. I, I don't think you're gonna just drop it at your feet. But uh, make me a uh, let's see, probably an agility check to grab the pipe and hang on for dear life. Agility is pretty good. Speed gymnastics. So it's, ju it's just what the stat is. Yeah. If you don't have the skill for it, then yeah. Yeah, if you don't have like a dedicated climbing skill or something. Uh, no gymnastics, no gymnastics. 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 There you go. I do not have gymnastics. So agility. Agility is pretty good though. Agility is seven. So that's seventy-six. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You need a one. Oh yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> you bad Like you. Backflip, throw a grenade, and just catch the pipe and slide down. The cops start, <laughs> and they, they like fire wildly out the window. Uh, but you're you're long gone. Hey, crazy Bob, he needs an invite to roll twenty. All right, I can do that. Jazz hands, where are you? Happy feet. Happy feet. <laughs> My God. All right, let's see. Invite players. Yeah, about the crazy. Yep, let's. Boop. There you go. So hop on in, uh, choose a token. There you go, Gracie. Alright, so, uh, Doc, you, uh, slide down the pipe, and, uh, I assume you've been, like, listening in the whole time, so you quickly find your way to the, uh, the car park where a grenade has just gone off a few moments ago, so... Uh, logic dictates that if Lone Star showed up to the apartment, uh, they might be on the way here. Hmm. Now there's no way we'd be waiting around. On the way time. down, I will uh, inform the others that uh, uh, Lone Star was very quick to get to the apartment, and I had to bug out. No shit. I oh, got right. got the. Uh, well, I think I got our payment. And some, and, and a. Uh, okay, you got her, uh, you got everything we needed from them. I think so. Didn't have time. Got okay. the bullet too. Okay, uh, what's your name? Uh, Edge. Smash a window. Smash window. Yeah, and uh, Doc, grab the wheel. We're tossing this. We're tossing these into the back of it. We're looking for something bigger that we can drive out of it there with. All right, so you guys want to like hijack a van or a truck or something? Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, you guys find a delivery van, a pickup truck, and a minivan uh, pretty readily down here. Minivan. All right. Minivan. Smash the window. Let's get in. All right. Uh, so you smash the window, and like one of you pulls the back open and chucks the bodies inside, uh, noting with interest that this little van has a, you know. My kid is an honor student, and then there's a little, 
a picture of a mom and a dad and like three kids. Unfortunate. Man, I can feel the bad karma from this already. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, you just slap up a you just right next to it. My kid fucked your honest did it. <laughs> that is a good point. We're actually doing a favor to humanity. Uh -huh. There you go, Bob. Perhaps we can return the truck later. Yeah. One day. Someday. We're just Someday. borrowing it. Okay. We need okay. to get the uh, marksman. He's pretty much fucking down and out. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Both of the guys are unconscious. Just do you want me to drive, or do you want someone yes, to drive? Yes, you're the driver. You're the uh, driver. The, there is also the guy who's bleeding out from a shoulder wound. Uh, that just, like, almost yeah, destroyed uh, the top of his arm. So Later, later. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, we're just keeping pressure on it to make sure it's closed. Cool. All right, uh, so you... Just need to get the hell out of here. Dump these guys in the back of the minivan. Uh, a car alarm goes off, but... Uh, you know, it it shuts down before you guys really give a shit, <laughs> as car alarms are wont to do. I have trauma patches. If you need to get them, okay. Yeah, slap your slap one in his face. I don't care. If you can do it in less than six seconds, you're good. Mm. All right, and you guys uh, take off, just careening out of the motor pool. Uh, just as you're turning another corner, just a couple streets down. Uh, you see in the rear view mirror dock that uh, a couple of Lone Star uh, cop cars zoom up to the um, to the entrance to the car park. There's sirens blaring, and quickly a bunch of officers jump out and jackboot their way inside. Well. <sighs> Did I mention I hate it when you're right? Yes. Uh, you guys get Sorry. away. So, where do you guys want to go? And also, you just realized, at idiots that you are, that you know you left one of your friends back at uh, back at Club Purgatory. Uh, she must have wandered off to use the bathroom. <laughs> you guys just left without her. Cold man. Uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> you should swing by and pick her up. You know, that sounds like an excellent idea. Probably should. Probably the best idea we've had yet. Let's go back. You know, either we need to collectively kick our own asses or beat the shit out of the one that actually thought it would be a good idea to take this job. Well, unfortunately, the guy who uh, got you this job, uh, his brains are sort of lying all over somebody's mansion. Courtyard. Poor Mickey. I think it was a Mickey who did that. Yeah, it was Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Him out of I mean, he's, he was a good enough guy until he kind of pulled his shell on us, which we don't even know if it was his fault yet. Yeah. Excellent. He was a good enough guy. So was Hitler before he went crazy. See how that went? You <laughs> assume I paid attention in history class. It was 200 years ago. No way. That would have been 100 over 100 years, years ago. ago. Yeah. 120. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so, Doc, uh, as yeah. you guys are driving down and uh, getting back to Club Purgatory, you see that there's uh, still actually a line outside the club, despite it being probably about 1 o'clock in the morning now. My. It's a booming place, after all. Mm. Uh, where do you want to stash the car? There's a car park about a block away, but eh, other than that, uh, something tells you that leaving the uh, the stolen car full of bodies on the side of the road, eh, probably a bad idea. <laughs> Just park it somewhere out of the way, and I'll make sure I keep watch over the bodies. Dude, I'm. If you haven't noticed, I'm the most visual of every one of us. You are, like, the least visual. Got natural camouflage and all that stuff. 
Oh, fine. I'll go back inside then. You go. You get her. I'll tend to the. Yeah. Really wanted one of these just, guys to try something. Never got the fist fight. Just dark. Just dark alley park us. All right. All right. Yeah, you, you find an alleyway. You uh, you accidentally hit like a a squirrel or something, and yeah. Otherwise, uneventful. Mm -hmm. All right, Edge will get out of the car and start going back to the nightclub. I will duck into the back and uh, take out some plastic restraints and restrain the two living people and then get my uh, med kit out. Right, cool. Slap a bio monitor on each of them. All right. Uh, your bio monitor tells you that they're both unconscious, obviously. Uh, the marksman, the uh, the Hispanic guy, is uh, he's, he's pretty badly wounded in the shoulder, uh, like at that level where, I uh, know, uh, cyberization would probably be just as uh, just as good as getting that hole patched up. Uh, Daka Daka made a pretty nasty wound, but uh, you you can definitely stop the bleeding uh, with what you have on you, no problem. Hmm. I will uh, initiate first aid. To him. Go ahead and uh, make a roll if you want. I'm only doing this so I can show off. Show off your ridiculous fucking skill. Jesus Christ, how? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. 26, and my limit is 23. Okay, Dr. House. What the actual fuck? <laughs> my first aid skill is, is like the how? greatest thing in the universe. <laughs> Uh, well, my logic skill is eight. First aid skill rating is four. My med kit is a six. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. It's adding that in twice. Oh, okay. That's actually wrong. Okay. I didn't know what did that. I didn't know it did that. Okay, so, so okay. that's wrong. <laughs> that's, uh, it's a slightly incorrect. All right. It's adding my med kit in twice because I have two of them. I see, I see. I did not really so, what, what should you be that. rolling? Just like 20 d6? It would be 20. All right, Which so is still ridiculous. Yeah, go, go ahead and reroll, just just in case. Yeah, okay. Still succeeds. Still, still fucking ridiculous. Still ridiculous. High as fuck. Alright, so yeah, you, uh, you stabilize him, no problem. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Edge, you head back into the club, uh, Unfortunately, you've uh, you left the club, so you're gonna have to pay your uh, twenty new yen charge to get back in. I'm going to contemplate punching the guy in the face, think better of it, and then just pay the yen. Yeah. The uh, the huge troll guy who's standing there as the bouncer just grunts at you. Let you in. All right. We'll Probably to fucking deck you in like what single punch? Don't don't tempt him. He's got combat junkie. He likes to fight. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Crazy Bob, let's, uh, let's have a little intro to your character. Who are you playing? And what have you been doing for the last, uh, 45 minutes when you realize your friends ditched you? Uh... Obviously, he was just enjoying the drinks. I had no fucking idea. I threw this character together in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> does, does she have a name? And what does she do? Apparently, I'm happy feet. And I drive. <laughs> I think it's quite convenient leaving the uh, driver behind. Does the driver actually own a vehicle? I remember to buy one of those, yes. Alright, so that that would be uh that would be why the party had to walk all the way to the uh to the mission site. Yeah, they, uh, they forgot their driver, they forgot the car. It's like eh, fuck that person. Edge is gonna walk up to the table and go like, Man, you think we would have remembered we forgot you after we had to walk all the way over there? Take the fucking bus to the run. <laughs> Yeah, what a comic. We took a fucking cab and I paid for it. 
Anyways, to give you the short and run of it, um, the short and long of it, DACA completely jinxed the payment, and now we have to then we have to chase down a guy. And there's some other things that I don't feel comfortable selling that around a club, so we should probably get back to the car. Still got paid though, right? Ha <laughs> uh, yeah. No. God damn it, scratches. I mean Edge. I mean TCL. I mean what the fuck your name is, I forget. <laughs> Edge. Well, it wasn't my fault. If anything, my positive optimism should have led for this to be a success. But there's no use crying over spilled milk, so we should all just get up, go back to the car, and calmly take our frustrations out on our little friends in the back. Uh, walk, walk, walk. Alright, so you guys, uh, you guys head out of the club. Uh, meanwhile, back in the, uh, back in the van, Doc, if you, uh, remember back before shit hit the fan, I mentioned that, uh, uh, poor, uh, poor dead Molly, the elf, had a, um, had a comm link to her dress, uh, which activated as soon as you touched it. When it turned on, a oh. cute, chipper little voice said, You have three new messages. Uh, the first you hear... And you can relay this to the party or play it again. There's just a convenient little I'll rewind play it again. button on it. Yeah. Once everyone gets there. Uh, the first message uh, starts out as a young woman's voice saying, Hey, hey, Molly, pick up. Pick up, Molly. I know you're there. Uh, come on, Molly, pick up. Uh, fine. Look, I can't make I can't make it tonight. Yeah, I know. Work, work, work. Uh, I'll, look, I'll make it up to you, all right? Um, why don't you swing by my apartment, and uh, I'll make you dinner. Uh, tomorrow, obviously, since I'm busy tonight. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, take care. Love you. Bye. Beep. You have two unread messages. Uh, the second message is from a small company called Gattaco, which starts its message off with a little trumpet fanfare and says, It's a girl! Da -da -da -da. Uh, please call this number for the full uh, genetic analysis of your uh, soon-to-be booming baby boy and or girl. And it lists a little phone number. Junk mail. And the third message uh, is from a deep, uh, almost baritone voice man uh, who says, Hey, uh, Molly, look, uh, I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Uh, well, wouldn't you know the wife uh, <laughs> booked a dinner down at Mort's tonight without telling me? Uh, <laughs> leave it to her, right? Uh, listen, I'll, I'll find a way to make it up to you. I just You hear a, a voice whispering in the background. Uh, yeah, I, I I gotta go. It's uh, it's getting pretty hectic down here. Uh, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye. Click. You have no unread messages. And then the uh, the screen of the comlink flashes over to a wallpaper, uh, advertising the office of John Sinclair, the uh, other candidate running for mayor opposite uh, Jova Moore the woman you were investigating when poor Mickey bought the farm. Are there caller IDs on uh, these messages? Yeah. Uh, the first one uh, has uh, the caller ID of Little Sis, and mm. there's a picture of a very punky-looking elf with blonde hair shaved on one side and then combed over on the other. She's got a bunch of piercings and some tattoos around her collar and she's uh, smiling uh, wide at the camera. Uh, the second is a picture of a little baby and the big words Gattaco in 
large friendly letters. And the third is from John Sinclair and shows the picture of a very strapping black guy with a shaved head and a very large chin. Mm. So... Mm. She was good acquaintances with the other can uh, mayoral candidate. Sure, that's probably what happened here. By the way, those two in the back... Oh, wait, and she yeah. was paying us to investigate the other candidate. Yes. A dwarf named Jova Moore. We were looking... We were going to go look for some dirt, weren't we? Mm -hmm. And you have a little data yeah. slate right. full of uh, dirt connecting Miss Jova Moore to... Oh, we got stuff. Yeah. Oh. You you got a little bit. It was more, but it, most of it got fried with uh, Mickey's brain. What the... But uh, what you got uh, indicates that she uh, has some pretty deep ties to the O'Malley Syndicate, your uh, local Italian mafia and or Irish mafia. Really all the mafias put together. I see. They all sort of hybridized. She not have ordered just a bunch of drunk or the guts. Okay, but no... Pretty much. Yeah. Well, but uh, anyway, I got the uh, in the car after uh, the slap patches are going up all over the place. I just placed my shotgun, the barrel, with the, uh, the business end of it underneath the chin of the marksman. Just keep it there. Hey. Don't. Want, they are restrained, but you can't take chances. Yeah. yeah uh, he'll he'll come to a few minutes later, probably uh, just after Happy and Edge uh, get back to the van. Oh man, what? Ah! And he like tries to grab at his shoulder, and ends up tugging at the restraints. What? What the? And his eyes flutter you get open. A, you get a twelve gauge underneath your chin. I recommend you don't fucking. No. Also, just hey, for reference, hey, hey, you guys easy, got cool. Uh, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Good. Uh, what was that, DCL? Said so just for the reference, you guys got fucking owned. <laughs> he like, also glowers at you, but doesn't say anything because he doesn't want to die. Also, by the way, if you guys could speed this up and tell us who hired you and why you're here, that'd be great. Uh, hey, look, come on. We're all professionals here, right? And he looks around at uh, the bunch of armed thugs surrounding him and says, Well, we were professionals you until you killed the person who was supposed to be hiring us. Now we're just really pissed job. off people. Hey, hey, it's it's business, okay? No, no need to get rough. No, nothing personal. It's... Business is best. Uh, no, no. Is it's business as long as we get paid. When we don't get paid, we come that and take it out of your fucking hide. And then we find paid. everyone you know and take it out of their fucking hide. Ooh, I would have just settled for killing you guys, but she's serious. Should really start talking. We might still be able to get paid if we can get someone to open this, but. Hmm. So uh, he, he goes wide-eyed and sort of uh, s tries to, like, withdraw down deeper into the floor of the van, but ends up just hurting his shoulder. Ay, ay, ay. Ah. Look, I, I, I don't know who, who hired me, okay? I just got, got the contract through the Shadow BBS. Uh, you, you know, uh, anonymous in internet. Uh, it's... Yeah, yeah, there's a f forum account I, I could show you if I... He uh, sort of indicates his good arm towards a data pad on his belt. Huh? Yeah, go, go, go ahead. T take it, take it, take it. Scan it. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm bad with technology. Right. I'll take it. It is a standard uh, tablet computer. Uh... 
your scan reveals nothing other than computer bits inside. It's not like a bomb or anything. And you uh, you flip it on, and uh, he guides you through his uh, his browser history. Uh, tells you <laughs> really really embarrassedly to uh, please uh, please ignore the uh, very large number of fur affinity links in his browser history. Oh God, does that still exist in huh, 2070? Least... Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> hey, come on! Don't don't look at that. It's not not related. Not related. Mm. At least you're not a casual when it comes to your porn selection. He <laughs> gets a really embarrassed grin. And, uh... Yeah, he, he guides you over to, uh... A, uh, a fast food service link, which is totally the end to, uh... One part of the, uh, Shadow BBS uh, bulletin board system where shadow runners like you get their jobs. And you, uh, you you log in under him, go through some basic security measures, and uh, find a private message from a forum user uh, named uh, Dark One, like Dark, and then the uh, the Arabic numeral one. Seriously, yeah, seriously, I call myself the Edge, and even I'm not that pretentious. <laughs> the one, that's pretty bad. Uh, yes looking for a uh, an assassin team to uh, take out a couple of targets. And couple. uh yeah, couple, a couple of targets. Uh this bitch and then um another woman by the name of Holly Hall. Uh with the uh, little uh I guess explanation that she's not sure which is which, quote unquote. Uh, your friend uh, with a shotgun to his face doesn't know what she meant by that, but he didn't really bother to ask, doesn't care. Uh, just wanted uh, both of these uh, elf bitches taken out pronto. Hey, what's How, what did our uh, what did our dead elf look like? Uh, your dead elf uh, mm. was a very noble, attractive, uh, sort of like middle class businesswoman. She had a uh, long blonde hair, uh, green eyes, big pointy ears with little nice earrings in it. Uh, mm -hmm. She was probably very pretty before she got a bullet in the face. Mm. Had just Tends the right amount of makeup sense. to, you know, be uh, mm. almost promiscuous, but not quite, you know. She's, she's not slutty, but she, she was, was suggestively name? dressed. Molly? Molly Hall. Kill her and her sister. Yes, her sister Holly. Mm, thought so. Nah, so that means we got her sister left. You know where she is. Where? Uh, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a there's an address uh, tacked on under uh, Holly's name in the uh, the shadow communication. And uh, your assassin buddy says, uh, the, the other half of my crew went, went after her. Uh, and it probably, uh, probably still there. Hmm, okay. So, so, quick question. Are we really going to start playing detective here and try to be a hero, or are we just going to back off out of this one? Oh, no. no it's, now it's fucking personal. Well, you know, I have no disagreements well, with this. I'm in. Yeah, because think about that for two, for two seconds. Some dredge just paid for wet work for our cash cow. Ugh. I'm going to admit it hurt to think for more than one second, but you're right. We gotta get these assholes back. Uh, hey, hey, look, like I said, uh, n nothing personal, okay? Uh, I I'd pay you back if I could, but uh, even I didn't get, uh, you know, only only half in advance. Uh, c come on, wh what do you say? It's, uh, you know, professional courtesy, let, let me go. Professional courtesy fees, of course. We'll be giving over that half, plus a little extra. He looks very unhappy, but says... Uh, yeah, right, uh, working fees, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, yeah, sure, man, wh whatever. And he, uh, if you, like, hand the data pad, he'll 
tack a tack over to his bank and uh, wire uh, the money over into a credit chit and give it to you guys. Mm. Uh, to a tidy net sum of 20 grand. Professional courtesy. Mm. Ain't that such a grand thing? Want me to drug them up now? Yeah. Can't Put have them warning. So can... Can't yeah. have them warning the others. Put him on there and we just uh, put him in the trash can. He, uh, he grunts but doesn't uh, doesn't try to resist. At yeah. least we're not yeah. killing him. Yeah, I just uh, pushed the barrel a little harder against the shit. I put the whole size of a grapefruit through your freaking shoulder. You think I can can't miss you in here, so... You chill, you walk. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I like trash cans, actually. Uh, c c come from a, a big line of dumpster divers. It's, Explains uh, your filthy-ass skills. Oh! Try not to move the arm too much or you'll open it back up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. hey, I'm on the dock. Let's go. You uh, drug him unconscious and leave him in a dumpster. Where they belong. Forget. Where his friends. I think I have to deduct some. U keep track of the uses on this med kit. Then. You did that. Happy feet. Can you get us to this address? Hurry. Sure. Let me just remember where I parked. In the car park. Yeah, there's a little pay by the hour car park down the street. You can probably stash your vehicle in, yeah. Switch out vehicles. Some real wheels going. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah, so you go over to, uh, to Happy's car, uh, hop on in. Uh, the Happy Wheels. Yes. Happy Wheels! Uh, so, how many people can your car fit anyway? So uh, has is it a crime van? It's, it's a fucking crime van. Excellent. Yes. Fuck it's yeah! It's the crime, crime van! Crime. Hell yeah! Yeah. It's not the APC though. Oh. oh. <laughs> Don't worry, we can make it. Fuck it, I'll sink my cash into making it the crime van again. Oh lord. I don't even... Uh. No, no. You have no idea the glory of the crime van. The crime it's pretty van. great. Yeah. Uh, Best okay. thing in the fucking session. Other than fucking jazz hands. <laughs> fucking magic right there. Alright, so you uh, all uh, embark upon the crime van and head on towards the shitty part of town. And hey, I, I mean shitty. What, DCL? I live in the shitty part of town, thank you. Alright, you, you head towards the, uh, the uh, consolidated income part of town. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Kind of down, nestled between the docks and uh, downtown. It's full of uh, very low cost housing, uh, some buildings that between kind of aren't livable, you know. That part of okay. town. Okay, so you say between the docks and downtown. In other words, it's right between the fucking gangbangers and the crackies. Yes. The cra That's perfect, so we're in Detroit. Fuck. Yes, uh, they actually picked up all of Detroit and put it into Seattle. It was a very That's costly sensitive. operation, but it was clearly worth it to uh, to the crime weight. Uh, doubled in nearly uh, overnight. Why do you live here? <laughs> because there's a lot of people who like to pick fights, and nobody gets to complain after I beat them up. Also, it's dirty. I street. could rent... Dude, you can live in a fucking doghouse in my yard 
It'll be cheaper and better than this place. You know, he's gonna take a look <laughs> out the window. I'm not saying you're wrong. Besides, I don't really live around here. I mostly just spend all my time hanging out around here. I live in a decent enough place up in the middle district. Okay, that's a substantial difference. So you don't live here. This is just your second home. It's my home away from home. Also, I there's one good thing about this part. There is one good part, um, thing about this part. It's that they have the best donuts. Literally makes up for everything else. Didn't they ban donuts back in 61? Yeah, semantics. Anyways, we almost there. Happy feet. You pull up at the address. All right. All right. Going to get up the van and. So just to make sure, we are killing these fuckers, right? Well, we're taking the. Well, the thing is, those guys got half the money. Then there's the other ones. So we have to have one alive. At least one. The more well, the merrier, you know. As you say that, uh, so there's a like five-story little flat house uh, that you had the address to. Uh, story number five erupts in a fireball. Wow! The windows time. shatter. Flames boil out of the windows. Damn it! Uh, smoke starts rising. Uh, car alarms go off. Dogs freak the fuck out. These guys really suck at their job. Not. Subtle check the, at all. Check, check the uh, building across. Yep, you uh, you don't see anything there. Uh, it, it didn't look it didn't look like a rocket or anything. Are there any cart suspicious vans around? Uh, yeah, th there's another crime van parked like two cars up from you guys. I'm gonna go say hi. All right. Yeah. It couldn't be that simple. So I'm going to sneak Thermal up. Thermal vision. Today. How many? Uh, in the van, nothing. Oh. Uh, the van is empty. Uh, across the street, though, and you kind of turn your attention that way, uh, you see several people running out the back of the uh, the flat house that just blew up, and uh, a moment after that, you start hearing automatic weapons fire from the backyard. Oh, shit. Action. Go. Yo, go. go. You got contact. Go. I'm going to. Do they look like are the guys running from the back look like the guys that we um, took care of? Uh, that was only Daka's like thermal vision. You guys are gonna have to get a little closer to see in more detail than that. All right, well we're running towards them. Elf agility, go! All right, uh, so let's uh, let's have everyone just roll initiative real quick. All right, I think that will speed things up here. So. Very well. Initiative mm -hmm. is a flat number plus 1d6, I believe. Yeah. Initiative flat is... Plus d6, unless you have modifications to it, that will give you an item extra flat bonus for an extra die. Yeah. You guys go on ahead. I'll be... back. Oh, minute. wrong. To totally wrong thing to do. <laughs> Why did I fucking... I don't want this. And basically, uh, after every everybody reaches initiative zero, you re-roll your initiative um, turn. Yeah, at the end of each turn. And you can also take a second turn if... Uh, you have more than tw um, 20 yeah. left over. This is... Whatever. Is this... Is this... Is this one? 10 plus 1. I guess it rolled still, technically. Not that was looking for. Of fuck. You know, that giving me like one more point. Piece of shit. Jeez. I think got two turns here, so. And you rolled 12 plus 3d6. Damn. Yeah. I'm souped up, yo. 
You are Jack. Look at this, y'all, though. Damn. Adept powers. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, so Edge. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me let me give you a second turn here at what two? Yeah. All right. That'll keep things nice and simple. So you're gonna go at the end of every turn and the front, basically. Mm-hmm. All right. As long as I don't do anything to take away from that twenty-two, I might. Why does he get to go twice? He has because a fuck uh, eye initiative. I think it's really? nice, yeah. After minus, if you get higher than a twenty, you minus ten, and if you have over ten left, you get to go again. Hmm. So if you have like a, if you like roll a thirty, you get three turns. But that's like really that's crazy. You only appear on the initiative yeah. order once. After everyone's gone, you minus ten from their number. Yeah. And that's how you know if other people get to go again or not. Yeah, if you have a value above uh, that is still positive, that gives you an extra round. Oh, okay. I thought you had to have over 10. All right, I'm wrong. But yes, I'm going to charge ahead. All right, so let me let me draw something real quick. Let's okay. see if I can find a color that will stand ag out against this background. Yeah, there we go. Basically, this is what you guys are looking at in terms of like the building itself. So there's do, do. not image is not to scale. Yeah, image is not to scale at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, they they actually live in midget houses. Uh, no. <laughs> so the front door to the uh, to the flop house is here. Uh, it's been like blown off its hinges and uh, like kids and shit and you know very poor druggies are swarming out of it and there's an alleyway back here and then a back door back here so out back here is basically where the fighting's going down and you guys are basically like out here across the street mm -hmm. so yep yeah, edge that's uh, that's where you are so what where's where are you going well, I'm going to where the fight is. So, you said it in the back over here, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's not to scale, so I don't know how far I can actually get, or if I need to make a run check. Uh, let's see. What's your base speed? I don't know what. My base maximum speed is 36, I believe. 36, not meters. 36 meters? Yeah, you can get, like, way back. You can get about there on a normal movement. Yeah, and then I'll make a run check for bonus movement. Alright, sounds good. Let me see my run skill real quick. Alright. Six. D. Ooh, extra ten meters. Alright. So you get like... Boop. Alright, so you basically run up right to the back door where you can see uh, three guys with like machine pistols and rifles spraying lead across the back over towards uh, like a dumpster and some trash cans that have been thrown over and a knocked over motorcycle. And taking cover behind all that is a very punky elf chick. It's got... Uh, Side of her head shaved. The other's got long hair combed over. It's got tats all over her uh, chest and arms. A bunch of piercings on her lip and nose. And she's got a staff in one hand and a pistol in the other. And she is desperately returning fire at these guys. And I wasn't fast enough to be able to get into melee range against any of them, huh? Uh, not quite. You're like just at the base of the stairs. All right. Can I take a free action to yell at these these guys? Sure. Hey, asshole! Get their attention. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. They. Uh, you you yell over the cacophony of gunfire. Hey, assholes! And like one of them, the big burly orc guy, just sort of turns and says, 
Scram! And aims his Uzi at you. Bitch, why don't you come down and make me? Alright. Uh, so that's all you're doing on your turn, or...? Well, yeah, I guess... Right. Can you make it another move action? I, th I don't think it's just move plus bonus movement from the run, so... Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so you're like 15 feet away from these guys, basically. Good enough. Alright. Deca! Yay! Time to leg it like a motherfucker! Okay, let's actually just change this map to yards or meters. There you go. Now it's to scale. Almost. Alright, so yeah. Now one square will just be at like 5 meters. Okay, so I need to get about here. Yeah. So my maximum speed is 28 plus 2. Hmm. Same thing, so that's uh, full running then. Okay. Ah, oh, he's a cop. Oh, that's explosive dice, so... Are they? Is yeah, mine... that's an exclamation at the end. Sorry about that. So I added an extra, see? Ah, yes. Do you just want to count that as a single success? Yeah. Nice. So you move, what, like, two extra that's yards? That's question. It's like one extra if you're an orc. Two right? extra meters. Two extra meters, right. So you, you get a success, so you can move that much extra. Yeah, quick call over the com. Edge. Uh -huh. I'm, uh, I'm gonna prepare to duck. I'm gonna flash them. All right. All right. So are you just like throwing a flashbang now, or is that gonna be uh, like what you do next turn? No, I right. can't. All right. That's on my next turn because I can't uh, move further. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Doc, you're up. Hmm. So there's this alleyway here. Yep. Is there something over here? Yeah, there's like a row of apartments. But this is like a wall here. I can't go. Yeah. I cannot. You'd have to like go but... through another building. Yeah, that would be annoying. The next alley is like probably way down here or something. And this building is on fire. Huh? Uh, the top floor is on fire. It's spreading, but you know. Like, something explosive went on. Hmm. wonder if I could go that way and get behind them. Yeah, I'm going to go behind. I want to, make, want to see if she can get to her in case they are hurt. So... Let's see, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try and go this way and circle around behind them. Uh, so how do so? The movement says uh, my movement is fourteen. Your walk speed is first. Walk then speed, run speed. Run speed. Yeah. Basically, if you move within the first unit, you're walking, and if you go above the other one, you're running, and you get penalties when you're running, unless it's special actions. What's the and plus then, two for? That's each success you do on your running skill adds another two meters to your distance traveled. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. Walk, run, sprint. Running is that agility? Yes. So we just roll agility and if you don't have run. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to run, but I'm going to try and get the 
Let's see, let's see if I can go faster. Put on that Sonic shoe with you. Yeah, meters. 32, then 32 meters. So, literally right, like right there. It's yeah. two per success, so an extra four yeah. meters, no threats. 32 total. So that's me. All right. Happy, mm. you're up. All of your friends are running off in different directions. Uh, where was this other van? It is like... Slash our tires. Yeah, the, <laughs> the other van's like here. It's just parked a couple cars ahead of you. Right, and, and my van's somewhere. Your van is the X where you are right now. Oh, that's... Uh, I'm gonna pop it back and get my supplies. All right, you retrieve your shit, and then I start walking to the other van. If this time, yeah, sure. Yeah. Wait, grab your crap and head on, head on over there. Just give me like here. All right, yeah. Somewhere. Anywhere in there is fine. Yeah. Enemy Run turn. Actions. Come at me, mate. All right, yeah. Uh, the uh, the big uh, orc dude is gonna shoot at you because you know we pissed him off pretty mightily, as I'm sure you were uh, entirely anticipating. Yeah. Let's see. What's this guy got? Let's see. Give me something with an auto. There we go. So, automatics five. Let's see, it's agility to shoot or reaction? Agility. Oh, that's agility. It's always agility. Okay. So, yeah, cool. This guy will make it the DACA. At you. He shoots you much. Many shoots. Many shoots. Oof. Let me roll. Hmm. Don't get hit. Yeah, I'll just... Let's test my luck. I'll just do a normal dodge. Alright. Yes, it is. <laughs> Aha! Grazing. Jesus. Alright. So what happens on a graze? No damage. Basically, grazing is for if it's a uh, poison or contact ability. Oh, I see. It okay. applies that. So you like duck down behind a trash can or something, and the bullets like tear up your coat or whatever. But you know, none of them actually hurt you. Then uh, the you other dudes are both going to shoot at Holly, who is like back here in the dumpster. You don't duck to cover on a dodge, so I'm still in fire range. Yeah, sure. Alright, so he's got two other mooks with him who are going to uh, create DACA at her. Boop, boop. And she is going to dodge. Whatever, for whatever, whatever bonuses, I forget how those work. Yeah, so she's agility plus reaction to dodge? Yeah. No, it's reaction plus intuition. Reaction plus intuition? Oh, okay. No, oh, that's the same, but actually, no, that's worse. My dodge is only so high because of adept bullshit. So she dodges the first, does not dodge the second, and gets riddled with bullets. Her uh, cover bonus. No, that's right. Yeah, she's in cover. So yeah, she like it just the motorcycle that she's like partially in cover behind just gets riddled with bullets and starts spewing gas everywhere. The lights shatter. The handlebars come flying off as a bullet takes them down. She goes, you assholes, that's my bike! And then shoots one of them. Yes, it is. Sucks to be her. Yeah. One day I will learn how to actually play this game. But until then... I forget how cover works, uh, but it's probably important to learn that. Yeah. 
I wonder if they can dodge one six. Oh wait, <laughs> I think that's actually a glitch. Is it? And she has more ones work. than she has successes. So, if uh, there is no uh, success at all, oh, you can only do that. The only glitch if there's no successes. All right, all right. No success, or I think the glitches equal more to half than half the dices. The okay. Non -crit okay. My bad then. Yeah. All right. So she uh, just shoots the dude. Uh, he will. Try and dodge. Let's see. Let's see intuition. So, yeah, these guys are pretty good at dodging. All things being equal. Yep, he uh, he dodges. So, kind of leans back into cover no. for a second. Oh wait, yes, that you're correct. Yeah. Damn, look at those three ones. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're on a fucking roll there. Yeah, it's great, great dice rolls for saving today. Uh, all right, Edge, uh, turn number two comes around for you. Uh, mm -hmm. No, delete that one, and it he goes to Edge, Edge, twenty-two, which is minus ten. Yep. So I'll just put in twelve, yeah. and I shall charge the guy who dacked at me and hit him with my katana. Okay. And get the fuck out of the way. I'll have enough initiative to um, use duck and cover. So yeah, I'm gonna run up and cut this bitch. Alright, sounds so, good. Using blood skill, blade skills. Get plus two because I'm rushing them. Five successes. Man, look at all those ones. I know, right? That's scary. Alright, so it's just a normal dodge roll for him, right? Yeah, reaction plus intuition. He can Boop. he can um, decide nope. to dodge at a minus five of, to his initiative, that is. And he gets a bonus to his dice. Uh, I mean, I you know, no, I, I think he's he's overconfident. He's not going to bother with that. But yeah, you you hit him. Ooh, three net successes. All right, what's my damage again? All right, so my damage is minus three armor piercing. And then that is a straight up three damage bonus. So I will be doing thirteen piercing damage to him. All right, thirteen. What's his armor? Piercing. Uh, this guy has armor of nine. So minus three from that, and then plus thirteen. All right, so six. So he's taking seven. Uh, physical. All Seven right. boxes of physical. That's uh, that hurts. Yeah, that that, that hurts, hurts a him lot. a lot. Uh, yeah, that that almost killed him dead. Uh, but uh, he staggers back with your blade like jutting out of his chest. What the fuck? Right, and uh, yeah. So, Ed, should Actually, you get like another turn after that, or? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to... Actually, yeah, I'm going to get another attack. I'm going to finishing move for a minus 10 of my initiative. Okay. Or I, you could get out of the way because uh, hell is going to break loose right about now. Can't do that. Finishing move. Uh, yes, you can You can move at, yeah, before and after an attack. Shadowrun, remember? No. Oh, well, then I'll just finishing move and then move after. So, eight successes. Oh, shit. My physical Damn. limit is nine. Yeah, you just... You just geeked his ass. Yeah, no, the... Yeah, right. Ah. Yeah. So he... So he... Since finishing move is always a flourish, he pretty much just, like, takes his blade, twirls it around a little bit, and lops off his head. Alright, yeah. The orc dude's head goes rolling off into the building. Uh, the other two mercs... Uh, standing nearby, just go wide-eyed, kind of look between the headless body, look at you, look at the body. Uh, they they look quite to, shaken. Edge is going to wave to them, then run back around the corner real quick, then give the thumbs up to Daka. Alright. Alright. Okay. 
so yeah, I can get my bakery back there quite easily. Stonk, stonk. And uh, they're gonna get a face full of grenades right about now. Oh boy. Hey, it's not my fault they're pissed, up, uh, pissed me off. Hey, uh, let's see, do you make a shooting test on that? Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, I'm not gonna hit them, I'm gonna hit the wall right next to them. Alright, uh, go ahead and uh, roll to hit, make sure you don't uh, glitch or anything. Uh, they'll roll no, to dodge out of the explosion, but uh, God help them. Uh, yeah, good fucking luck with that. That was something out. Simple action, yeah. Bam bam. So, there's two shots there. So that's splitting my die in half. But since it's 17, it would be just 8. So, I need to hit with 1. So, 8. Let's see. First shot, that's a hit. Second shot, that's a scatter. Enjoy. Oh boy. Wait, wait, I can't. I've got. There's one more die to that. Nope, oh, that's a failure. Alright. So is it scatter dice time? Yeah. All right, let's see where it goes. <laughs> let's see if you blow up Holly. Don't worry, it's a uh, flashbang, so. Oh, okay. All right, it scatters back this way. Oh, don't <laughs> Perfect. They're still a bit in the radius. Yeah. It's ten meter. But wait, wouldn't that mean you're in the radius? Yeah, but I have flare compensation, so it doesn't affect me. All right. All right. Uh, so you uh, drop a flashbang on everybody in there. Uh, so yeah, they get to roll theirs. They get to roll to resist. All right. What's it's resist? Stun damage. Each of the uh, it's ten stun damage per uh, per grenade. So um, so it's just roll against. Roll what's their uh, yeah? What's their uh, AP? Uh, their armor. Uh, why would a flashbang have anything to do with armor? Uh, they have nine. It often doesn't. Okay. Um, it's yeah, Hedra will explain. Their compensation is yeah, only flashbacks. You still have to roll against flashbangs. Yeah. Alright, so what are they rolling exactly? They Just dodge or. No, it's an AOE, so you have to roll your body. Uh, it's the damage resist. Uh, body plus willpower, correct? Uh, yes. Pop. All right. Uh, yeah, it's not conveniently the same thing. So, body plus willpower, body plus willpower, and then for Holly, it's body plus willpower. She's in cover. She's correct. There. Yeah, she won't see it. Well, her cover did kind of get like destroyed by bullets, so she, like she's probably looking that way. So, and yeah, she, she's all right. Uh, that's like seven points of stun damage to the other two guys, though. Yeah. No, uh, the other, they take, that was two shots. This oh. one over here wouldn't get to her since, uh, it's too much of a distance to travel. It will hit them, but not her. This is damage phase. Yeah. So Three, it would, uh... It would fade over, since it fades over distances further than 5 meters. Alright. So they both took, the gang, uh, the, the assassin guys took 7 points of stun damage each, you say? Yeah. Okay. Twice. So 14, so they're both unconscious for some reason? If yeah. your stun gets into overflow, you basically get un unconscious. Okay, so you launch a flashbang, 
it hits the you launch two flashbangs one of them goes short and blows up then the other one like shoots through the cloud of smoke and beans one of them in the head knocking him unconscious flops over onto the other guy's head and detonates and knocks <laughs> him unconscious Jesus. That, that is the only thing that makes sense in that circumstance. <laughs> yeah. The so, stun yeah. damage in this uh, world is fucking ridiculous if you can't resist. Yeah. It's well, totally why the fuck does a flashbang do, do stun damage? That doesn't make any sense. That's stun, any damage, damage. stun damage is basically just like, well, like your stun modifier. Like, no, I, I, I understand what stun damage is, but... Oh, oh, you're asking, like, how a flashbang renders anybody unconscious in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> and sound and explosion, that's why it's a flash... bang. Eh, I don't see it, but whatever. Alright, well, 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 we'll go with it, and then... He gets beamed in the head by the actual grenade and <laughs> falls unconscious, sure. So, let's go with that. Alright, so does Doc get a second turn now? Since he's got numbers. Oh uh, yeah, it's Doc's turn. So five left ah. on the initiative for Doc. Alright. 32 feet again, meters again. Alright, so... You're hearing what's going on. I think I'm gonna go a different route instead. I don't want to be that guy, and it's only a one shot. But you're fucking everything up, and that's not how you do it. Well, do you tell them, crazy. Your movement rate is for the entire turn, not passes. It is. If you run, you take a minus two to everything. Hmm. So you can't move again once you do move. I guess that makes sense because yeah. Shadowrun turns are like way shorter than normal D&D &D turns. Yeah, they're like three seconds, aren't they? Yeah. So basically the gist of it, since no one could have gotten anywhere, is that we just went through a whole turn cycle and it's initiative time again. So we'll, we'll yes, just play through much. this and pretend it's, we just didn't re-roll initiative, so we're just going to... Keep going in the same order. You have, to re so you, you have to roll initiative every round? Yeah. Yep. Really? Uh. Yes. So even if you do poorly the first time, you can get a better initiative next time. Hmm. Interesting. And it makes having a lot of initiative very important for combat. Yes, yeah. Let's see. I could either go into the building or around the building back. Happy's out here. You guys are going around that way. I'll go. Yeah, I'll keep going. There we go. What does Edge do? Everything. Everything. Can I Edge use it to move faster? No. No. Uh, nope. Okay. Edge is what you use for, oh shit, if I don't succeed now, I'm gonna fucking die, or I need to make this jump. <laughs> Snagopus be with me, or hail Satan. I see. Alright. Alright. I hailed Satan Puss. Satan Puss. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna pull uh, one of my guns out of and just in case there's someone coming around the back to uh, flank Holly. Alright. Sounds good. Uh, actually, uh, Doc, since you're like basically here in the corner uh, of the alley, uh, you can actually see that, yeah, uh, there, there is another dude. Uh, there's someone like coming down the fire escape here. He's been like, Shit. all of his gears charred black. And he's coughing and waving his machine pistol in front of him. <laughs> Fucking oh, crazy wow. bitch. <laughs> Take the shot. 
Uh, can I? I don't think I can. You can. You have, have like that action, minus two penalty. Minus two? Yeah, from running. Ooh, okay. Let's see, pistols are 12. Is 12? Unless it's a meal. Then you make it to hit. See firearms. Fourteen, so that would be down to twelve. An accuracy of seven. Does so that mean I can only get seven successes? Yes. Total. There's a cap. Yes. It means even if you get like eight successes, only seven of those count. Yep. It's fourteen, so minus two. That's twelve. Okay. All right. That's a hit. He will uh, try to dodge that. Well, try to dodge that by what? Letting go of the ladder. Well, uh, like it's it's a fire escape, right? It's basically like stairs that sort of come down on pressure. So yeah, like oh. he can leap back and like fall prone or something, which is what he'll try and do basically. But yeah, no, you still hit him, so. Uh, Add two to your damage. Add two to my damage? Yeah, you yeah net successes. successes. Okay, so What's the your damage? damage and what's your AP? It says eight. Eight physical damage minus one armor. Yes, so you'll be doing ten damage minus his one armor. And if your damage surpasses his armor, he only gets a body check to resist damage. Uh, so he has an armor 9, so you're doing like one or two points to him, I believe. Is no, he has okay. to roll a body check. And okay. that's what takes away from the damage. Okay. He will roll his body. That's something he can definitely do. What he had four, right? Yeah. If you base... Ooh. Where the hell did you pull that number out of? If the armor is reduced to zero, they only roll with body. No, because if your da it says even in the rules, if your damage surpasses their armor, they roll body to resist the damage. Combat sequence. Um. Actions. Defense. Here it is. Yeah. As long as the armored modified value is positive, the defender rolls body plus modified armor to resist damage. Otherwise, the defender only rolls body. Each hit scored reduces the modified damage value by one. The DV is reduced to zero or less, and then the attack was stopped by the character's armor thick hide and no damage was inflicted. Okay, then roll that, uh, roll body on him then. He did, one success. So he takes nine damage. Okay. That's still enough. So he did nine physical damage, correct, and at this? Uh, it says eight, minus, eight physical damage, minus one armor. Yeah, so he has 8 armor. He has 9 and then armor. He did 8 plus but. 9. Yeah, with the minus not okay. 1 yeah. equals 8. Yeah. So you did 8 plus 2 minus 1. So uh, 9. No, it would have been 4 was my would, attack roll. Why would it have been 4 successes? He d yeah, but he got 2 successes. So he had 2 net hits. Remember? You add the net hits on top of your, your own, the damage that your gun does. All right, all right. So hold on. Let, 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 let's just let's just uh, type this out. Why don't we? One step at a time. All right. So Kanathis, you had uh, a base damage of eight, right? Yes. All right. Plus two from the the net hits, and the AP is minus one, correct? 
Oh, I see the difference between my roll and his roll. Okay. Okay. So, so his armor is nine. Right. Mm -hmm. So that reduces. So basically, his armor is effectively eight. So, and the damage he takes is ten. Mm -hmm. Damage ten versus armor eight. So two damage. No, because once your damage surpasses their armor, their armor is rendered effectively useless, and they have to roll body for it. Which is why having a high armor is very important. What the shit? Stop saying that. I'm sorry. It's not correct. That's what it says in the rules. Damage is not modified by armor value. Damage is never modified by armor value, but you still get armor to resist. If the damage is higher than the armor value after it's been modified with AP, you roll lethal body. instead of stun. Yeah, you roll body to resist the but damage. you still always revolt with the roll the modified armor. Right, that's what I thought. Okay. Like, if, if you do less than his armor value and damage, you just do stun damage. It, only when you get over it do you do actual lethal damage. That, that's okay, physical. right. This this makes more sense. So it's basically doing two physical damage, right? Right, Crazy Bob? Uh, you still have to roll to resist. Alright, he rolled one success, so does that in decrease it to one damage, or...? Uh, what was the base damage? The base damage was 8 plus 2. 8 plus 2, and he resisted one from body and how much from armor? Uh, after armor piercing, uh, it's eight. So, roll. You rolled eight d six, right? AP one is. Did you roll eight d six? Oh. Did you roll body armor. plus armor to resist the eight plus two? Oh, damage. body plus armor. Okay, that's that's different. See, See, he seals a fuck with, so just that's what it says in the rule. The rules say that the you rules don't... are All frequently right. wrong. <laughs> the, 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 Have you read yeah. the Arata? Oh my god, I'm reading the defense sequence right now, and that's All what right. it says. Let, let, let's just assume Shadowrun is a bad game, and we'll just we're, we'll just do what Crazy Bob says because Crazy Bob seems to Dude, know what's is up. It's pretty bad. Yep, yeah, Sh Shadowrun's like th this is pretty bad, but again, yeah, great Four setting, fine. terrible mechanics. Uh, but yeah, okay, so armor is 9s, and his body is 4, so that's 13d6, basically, to resist the damage? Minus 1. Uh, AP minus right. 1. Okay, so 12 damage. So 12. 12d6. 4 yeah. successes. So you lowered it to 5 damage. I thought it was 6 damage. I thought it was, it was 8 base, successes. or 8, 9, 10. 10 base damage, minus 4, 6. So let's just, let's just go with that. So he, he takes okay, a, so about... Six. Ta he takes 6 Still damage. Pistol. So yeah. Uh, you, you blow out like one of his kneecaps and he crumples to the ground screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Happy, you're up. Uh... <laughs> I forgot how far I've moved. We're assuming this is a new initiative Not round, so... <laughs> so fuck it. Again. Uh, I pop the hood of the enemy van. Okay, so you, like, scurry around to the front and pop it open. I, I'm assuming a car alarm is going to go off at this point, but there's gunfire and shit, so no one really cares. And I'm going to take out my pliers. Alright. And I shall roll, uh... Uh, actually, I'll sabotage. I think I can do that. Sabotage. Oil sprays out and splatters you in the face, but yeah, you uh, you chop up the engine good. Uh, it will not be running anytime soon. 
with pliers, okay. Yeah, yeah, you cut all of the wires that are applicable. And then I'm done. Alright. Cool beans. I mean, well, I close the lid first, but I'm done. Alright, uh, so these two dudes are unconscious, so. Because flashbangs, I guess. So, they're unconscious. This dude climbing down the fire escape uh, just got shot in the knee, but, uh, yeah, he's, uh, let's see. He could shoot Holly, and she doesn't have cover from him, or he could shoot a Doc. Let's see what he does. What's up, bitch? Yeah, he, he's gonna try and uh, kill the target. He's playing Fuck the objective. Her. Bastard. I'm confused. Wait, how did the initiative go again? I'm confused. We uh, we assumed this was a new round since none of you could have moved that extra time. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It, so effectively, you couldn't have done anything, so it's a new round. So when are we rolling new initiatives? I'm confused on that. I guess. Uh, when basically, at the end of this round, we'll reroll. Okay. Just to point something out, due to the taking physical damage that much, he's taking. Yeah, he's taking like minus two or something. Let's see. Yeah, he's Depends taking minus two right now. According to my little character sheet here. So. Automatics plus. So he's rolling 10d6 to hit. Nope, shit. Alright, he shoots the shit out of Molly, who's gonna try and dodge. Uh, let's see. Oh dear. Holly. Holly, rather. Yeah, not, not Molly. Oh, Molly also yeah. died oh. from <laughs> overload of bullets. Alright, so she does get hit once. She did good, decently. Pretty Actually, she got half of those successes. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's it. Mathematically, she did pretty damn good. Uh, so let's see, that's gonna accuracy five. So yeah, he's fine. Damage value six, AP nothing. So her armor is four. So it just did. So he's gonna be doing lethal damage, and then she's gonna roll body. Plus her armor. You only get body plus armor if it's done. Did didn't we just no, go over this? Stun and stun is body and willpower, dude. No, I mean, if you do you do stun damage, when you roll to attack, if your damage is less than their armor rating after modify for dude, armor piercing. Six versus six damage versus four armor. I know. Then you do lethal damage. Right. You only do, yeah. That's and you what don't you get, said. And you only get to roll body on lethal damage. If it's piercing your armor, you only get a body check. You add your armor check, and it does stun damage whenever it's less than your armor. So then you add body plus your armor for your dice rolls, and then it, if whatever damage is left over, it counts as stun damage instead of lethal. Your armor is basically a shield. If it gets past your armor, you take lethal. If it doesn't, it's just stunned. So All if right, it's lethal, hold on. you do not get... It's literally in the defend rules. No matter how you... Oh read my it, god, I... you just want to slap him, don't you? I read this five times. No, no, I, I, I believe DCL's reading the rules correctly as they're written. I also believe that the rules are wrong. Because I've played enough Shadowrun back in college to know that that's not how that worked in previous editions. And how if what I mean. DCL's saying is correct, and again, I, I'm fully admitting that that's probably true rules as written, then literally any gunshot you take is almost guaranteed to kill you outright, if not uh, if your severely not high wound you. Say what now, Hey, almost like it's a highly valid in this game. It's why having a very heavily armored combat like Street Samurai is super important, because everybody else is going to be super squishy. I'm gonna go with what Crazy Bob said. I'm. I think that's the intent of the rules, and the rules as written is just wrong. Not that it matters. Molly gets the shit shot out of her. Christ Molly, no. All right. So the 
the uh, punky little elf babe uh, gets riddled with bullets and collapses. Uh, uh, let's she's still see. alive. Yeah, she 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 is still alive. Let's see. Alright, so that's all the thugs. Holly uh, is going to crawl uh, behind the dumpster slash uh, little impromptu barricade she's made and just go full defense, full dodge. Do everything she can to not get shot anymore because uh, she has several GSWs. Alright, Edge. Or actually, I think... We have yeah, to roll again? Think, we yeah, I think at this we... point is when we're going to be re-rolling. Since Edge was the top, so everybody roll some dice. Mm, Thirty. Oh fuck you! Right, Molly has the same initiative as before. Shit. You can go twice, can I? Can so chill. Huh? You get to go twice, so... I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 12 minus 10 equals 2. That leaves you with a positive value. Mm -hmm. So, everyone who's not uh, who's not Holly basically gets to go twice this round. So, uh, update your initiatives on the board. Fill in your initiative. Yep, yeah, fill in your initiative here, people. Chop, chop. Dekka, did you get a 9, or...? No. Right, well, I got an 18, so what? Fill that in too. Because the dice are being shit. Alright, so Edge. Uh, does a zero count as a positive modifier? Because if so, I think you're going like three times. I am. If, wait, yeah. Uh, e, I should be going three times. Because it'll be minus 10, it'll be 20. It'll be minus 10 again, it'll be 10. Yep, okay. So yeah, you, you are going a sh you're going to be doing a shitload of things this turn, so... All right. All right, and now yeah. we've learned that you can only move uh, once. Twice. Yeah, or once. Yeah. So. so, how far away is this guy? Thirty. Yeah, this guy is uh, he's from. Up in the air. Yeah, he's on top of the uh, the thing, but yeah, he's like thirty-five meters away from you, and then like ten meters, or not ten meters, God, is like fifteen feet up. Uh, I guess I'll make a gymnastics to try to get up that fifteen feet. I don't know how that calculates within movements. Uh, yep. Yeah. Like, you could really leap up onto the fire escape and basically just have that be part of your movement. Parkour! So yeah. I'll run in gymnastics then? Sounds good. Alright, so here's my run check. As soon as I find it again. Shit, where's run? There we go. Run check and gymnastics check. Only one success. All right. Uh, yeah, that's enough. You you like leap up onto the stairs right in front of him. And Are then I'm fucking happy you got that one success, dude. Yeah, I know, right? That, that would have been a pretty serious glitch. And then I'll melee attack. Him. Just face Oof, that no, you, you you like leap up, Come slip off of the uh, the thing, and just like shatter your tailbone on the ground. Melee attack. Katana cut him. All right. Yes, he will Five try to dodge. Good luck with that, buddy. All right. So two net hits. So that'll be three armor piercing and thirteen damage with the net hits. Alright, uh, so you're definitely uh, punching through into lethal damage territory. Uh, let's see, his armor is... Actually, just... So what's your total damage right now? 13. 13, alright. <laughs> All right, you you drive your blade into his just his gut pull, and his innards just spill out everywhere, and then he dies. 
Just open them up from groin to ch Lame. groin to neck. Yep. You smell really bad now. E. But yeah, that's my turn. Is that the last of them? It seems to be. Unless Holly Hall wants to shoot at me. Uh, you know, yeah, she she is like pressed up against no. the back, aiming her gun, like switching rapidly between targets. Like, who who the fuck are you? Well, well it's yes. it's don't worry, it's still my turn. So just go up, place in front of her, like in a protective manner, to give her cover and slam down my ballistic shield. Considering how we were the guys who just killed the people who were shooting at you, we're on your side. She uh, seems to think about this for a moment, then uh, you hear the click of a gun going on safety, and she uh, she puts it back into her waistband. Holy shit, those guys are going to kill me. Yeah, we kind of noticed and did oh, something yeah. about that. Huh. Uh, I up. Bleed out otherwise. She flinches back when Doc uh, tries to get on her and says, "Yeah, uh, can 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 we do this later? Uh, I can walk. Let's let's get out of here. Could be more." It's like wipe your blade oh, off. Oh, I the hope dead there's guys. more trench coat. Well, well. Uh, check this. Uh, check the for shit. Oh yeah, we still have that one. We still have the two actually who are alive. Let's take those guys. Yeah, unconscious. Yeah, two unconscious guys. Uh, all of these guys have Seska Black Scorpion machine pistols. They have lined coats, knives, and Renraku Sensei comlinks. I'll take the knives. Of course you will. If you crack the calm links, leave the weapons, they're usually tagged. If you say so. Not much of a fan of guns anyways. Do they have nothing else on them? Uh, they've got, like, their wallets, but, you know, they're, like, they're, they weren't carrying big chunks of money with them. Oh, you you okay. find, like... So single note bills. Okay, we leave one guy, we bring we bring the rest, uh, we bring this guy, we bring one guy with us. Alright. You sure you want a survivor to tell the tale? Wouldn't it be smarter to bring both? Oh yeah, and we're gonna get them in the back of there with everyone else. And Fair enough. And you what? We left the other ones. We just need him. Well, any meaning money this fucker. Just grab a uh, nearest one. I'll slap a uh, some restraint, uh, some plastic restraints on him. Let's get then. I carry his ass, sling him over. So you guys return to the crime van. Wait, Edge will give Holly a look and get, oh, like, wait, are you a mage? She uh, looks between you and the big fireball uh, that uh, is still engulfing the building and says, uh, yeah, a little bit. Well, that's Man, no wonder that. they were trying to geek you. Eh, it's not, not the first time I've uh, gotten some shit for it. She, uh, Whatever, I'm just glad you're on our side. Yeah, say, same to you. Anyways, let's get out of here before Night Aaron starts showing up. Wait, actually, we're in the low district. Does Night Aaron even give a fuck? <laughs> You're lucky no. if Lone, Lone Star might be here in the morning. <laughs> oh, good. Don't have to deal with them again. Yeah. Like, eventually, a fire truck will show up and, like, uh, some. Wage slaves, whatever corporation owns this part of the land, will just like start pissing water on it. But otherwise, it's pretty much fine. 
Yo, Holly, you got anything important you're leaving behind? She, uh, looks uh, at the apartments up up top, which are on fire, and then says, just, just the bike, but, uh, I don't think it's uh, in driving condition. She, uh, kicks the, uh, the hull of it, which squirts gas at her. Yeah, sorry about that. Mini it helps I tried to get them to shoot at me instead. It's only most of my life savings. It's, it's fine. It's fine. She limps after you guys. Do, 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 do. Back in the wall. Well, all right, you guys climb in every in the other crime van. Oh wait, that's the other. One. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the that's the hey, sabotage. Hey, the me. Who the hell moved me? Bad people. Right. See so you all uh, pile in with Happy. And uh, drive okay, on. Okay, Doc. Yeah. Sit down, Holly. No, it's it's fine. I, I've got this. And uh, Sit. She, she, like, puts a very firm hand on your chest and then uh, taps her staff on uh, some of her wounds and starts chanting. Frowns. I want to know who has been in my house taking pictures of my dog. D and D time out. Go away. Magical healing does not work like that. <laughs> the fuck it, whatever. All right. Uh, let's see. Is there spell casting and magic? Yeah, I should like, use ten D on it. Yeah. All right. So, several of her wounds sort of knit closed, and like a little bullet pops out of her flesh and clatters onto the bottom of the crime van. See? Folds arms Good and harumphs. Well, that's nifty. Mm, magic. <laughs> Think you pissed off a doctor, though. Doesn't seem to like being able the job to magic. She uh, she gives the doc an apologetic smile and says, "Sorry, I'm used to uh, patching up cuts and bruises. Comes with a job." You a runner? <laughs> no, uh, not uh, not not quite, <laughs> not quite. I do not know if I should take offense to your laughter or not. Oh no, n nothing against uh, nothing against you guys. No, nothing at all. She, uh, like, wipes some blood off uh, onto her sleeves and says, Speaking of which, what, what were you guys doing there? It, uh, can't imagine you were coming after the, uh, shitty place I lived in for work, right? Honestly, we were hoping to save your ass. She blinks. Me? What? Why? Wet work. One out of two. Ooh, and Hero was about to ask who wanted to drop the bad news. What do you mean bad news? What? Well, as you could probably apply from my friend Daka here, one out of the two. Your sister? She, uh, and Edge will just kind of make a motion with his, um, thumb across his neck. Get the bullet. Holly goes wide-eyed. Her mouth stands agape for a moment. And, uh, after a moment, she just shivers and wraps her arms around herself. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it kind of sucks. Even more so because she was the one who was supposed to be paying us. P paying you? What What for? S security? Did, did she need bodyguards? Or... Who, well, who us, are these men? Well, we did. These are. These were contracted to eliminate you or your sister. No. But you since can't. apparently. No. And. That is correct. But they didn't know who was who. Which is pretty confusing because it's obvious who lives there. I think they were just being racist, saying they can't tell elves apart. 
all that jazz. Yeah, the whole, oh, it's Daisy, Daisy, there's no blah, 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 whatever. But anyways, oh, we're not the type that, like... on the guy's face, on who's uh, on the ground. Ha, I like you already. Anyways, we're not the type who like getting cheated out of money, so we're kind of making this personal right now. Which is why we decided to save you, and then promptly figure out why we need to save you, and who's trying to kill you. Fuck if I know. I've never seen any of these guys before in my life. Who'd want to kill my sister? Well, I don't know about your sister. Let's see, we got... It's probably the usual political standings or, and or... You know, <sighs> uh, criminal organizations. I mean, hell, you can cast fireballs and take bullets out your body, and your sister was contracting Shadowrunners. If you ask me, it seems pretty obvious that you guys got some people who want you dead, or otherwise. Probably related to our other job. Other job? Yeah, but that's that's on a, something else. A bit of a hush hush. Yes, another job we did. But right now, we're gonna wait for this little sleeping beauty here to wake the fuck up. Get the shotgun out to place it on her, place it against her throat. Uh, when you do that, uh, Holly adopts a very savage grin and says, Yeah, when he wakes up, let me at him. Kind of a what? specialist at inflicting pain. And she'll uh, run her hand oh. over uh, the dagger on her belt. Well, I don't care about pain. I want the information. She uh, huffs and Apparently says, they... "Go ahead." Apparently, I'm a bit scary for some reason. I cannot phantom why. Me neither. You're like the most huggable person I've ever known. I know. Very professional. But anyways, you sure you're not a Shadowrunner, Holly? Normal people with your skill set don't tend to be wage slaves or other meager jobs. No, I'm not a Shadowrunner, but my job isn't exactly uh, meager either. She'll uh, run a hand... Uh, under her collar and scratch at some of the tattoos and after a moment's thought say uh, I'm a domina at the local club it's uh... people pay me to uh, hurt them a lot let's put it that way kinky how much for extra for the fl um, fluffy cuffs <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she chuckles at that and says those come free No, As if on cue, don't. she produces a they pair just, of handcuffs. They don't come free. Just the target comes. <laughs> now, hey Doc, you got any hard shit to wake this little puppy up? Oh, happy feet. Can you get us out of here? We're sort of like not needed to be here. Also, Knath, this is lagged out. Oh no. Yeah, we no, Kino Y. This. Kino Y. been driving for the past five minutes. Oh, you are. Sorry. I did not catch that. Oh. Let's see. As you guys you are sitting there, there, the uh, the fire yeah, truck finally way. arrives. Wee wee. And I roll a street check to find a good food vendor because I'm getting fucking hungry. Yeah, you you don't need to roll a street check for that. There's a there's there's plenty of uh, restaurants around. Uh, we no, better no. be going for donuts. Good. Oh, good. good. Yes. Okay. Eight. Then make a street good. check in this neighborhood. Yeah. I told you about the donut yeah. place, yo. <laughs> uh, 
Grazie. You know, there's this great little oh, place just down the street that serves uh, donuts and soy calf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some actual food. Well, I mean, there used to be a steakhouse near here, but then, you know, some gangers burned it down, and there was the, um... And the gangers know, got burned down. Yeah, it was, it was a bad time. The, uh, the Chef's <laughs> Guild rallied into a new game and burned no. their houses down. It was, just, it was a bad time. For a love of snaggle, because I'm trying to, like, please, 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 check, check, check. I'm checking even fucking Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you have to drive uh, several blocks out of the hood, but you eventually find like uh, uh, a, a pretty nice uh, steakhouse you guys can uh, park at and eat. Oh, hell yeah. Edge will show some it's intelligence for the first time in his life and not stand in the way between Daka and her food. <laughs> well, it's on me, so... But yeah, okay. but still, we still need to wake. We still need to wake this uh, puppy up here. So Holly, you're telling me you have like no idea, political or otherwise, of people who have access to hired mercenaries who want you dead. Look, I entertain some pretty powerful people sometimes, but uh, they never <laughs> want to kill me. It's slap me around a bit sometimes, sure, but nothing like that. It's... Uh, if they were targeting both of us, my sister was uh, the aide to uh, some politician asshole, uh, John something or other. He's running for mayor, I think. Uh, but why would they want to kill her instead of him? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. The only thing I can think of is that I got one contact we could possibly ask. Often knows what's going on down in the streets. Like I said, we first get this asshole, and then if he if he's useless to us, then we just drop him off mid speed. Good enough. Sounds good to me. I'll still be right back. Or, you know, we can just... Or, you know, we can just give him a bit of a road rash. Alright. Well, since, uh, since Kanatha seems to have dropped uh, off to the land of shitty internet... Uh, no, probably, uh, probably to the land I kicked my fucking power cord again. <laughs> Yeah. And since the uh, the encounter is over, uh, now might be a good place to call it for the night. Uh, it's a little early, but uh, we can pick it up next week, same time, same station. And uh, okay. finish off this little adventure. See just where, uh, where Holly and Molly's rabbit hole will take you guys. <laughs>